Yeah. Okay, we're recording now. I have the. Is it okay that I just have the masters on? Yeah, or that's should fine. I change it to something sure. Else? Yeah. You still have the white masters, so it's okay. Yeah, yeah good. It's okay. I love how they do call it the masters. Mm-hmm. You yeah. have the masters where everybody still looks like they pre com mm-hmm. when they fuck their wife. <laughs> just a just a bunch of virgins. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We are the masters. You have like Davis Love the Third and Ben Crenshaw. Okay, I have to, I have to destroy the face. Do it. We're gonna watch Ben Crenshaw. This is yeah. the year of Ben Crenshaw. Uh, Hit this one. drive. Spoiler alert. Uh, this is '95. This is when Ben Crenshaw won after Harvey Penick passed. Ben Crenshaw was like one of the best golfers in the world, and he looked like he collected those little figurines of the kids playing naked. You know uh, what I'm talking about? The Hommels. Hommels. Yeah, exactly. Like he had little tchotchkes that he bought his wife and just sat on a table. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm just describing my granddad. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Devin, you know my granddaddy. <laughs> oh, yes, all of her tchotchkes. That's me. Hey. Hey, it's Devin. Look at that. Look at him go. Never gets old. That's me. I'm Jace. How long is are they going to expect Ben to do that every episode? How uh, long you think? How long you got? I hated doing it after, like, the third one. <laughs> you know, if you were to post just the soy face, like, comp- like, just on Instagram, you'd have, like, a billion followers overnight. Those would go viral. Yeah, probably. Uh. Testing check. All right, we're good. What is this guy doing golf? Where he just wears like a like an out white outfit and holds the holds that up. That's all he does. Yeah, he's the he's the slave. They do have to. It's so it's such a slave driven sport. Mm-hmm. You have a guy carrying all your shit. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, you get it. That's yeah. <laughs> that's why I rule. Devin's got it. <laughs> got I think it. Devin would have been uh, great at golf. He he already understands the uh, ethos. Yeah, I get mm-hmm. it of it. Mm-hmm. At its at its core, you get it. It's it's about slavery. Yeah, it does. It's, it's a big yeah. It's a Scots Irish game, and it's about slavery. Yeah, you that's tell me what you, you want to have a like you wouldn't love having a middle aged man to just like be like pick that up. I would. I'd love. Yeah. I, I wish I was a fucking golfing slave owner. <laughs> Be like, give me a candy bar. Make it snappy. So, wait, what did Chick Fil A do today, Ben? Do you know about Chick-fil-A? this? Chick Fil A. Uh, well, yeah, I saw. Okay, let me let me pull it up on my Twitter because this this. Uh, you see the thing about uh oh, fuck tranny, I don't, if, the tranny. Wait, hold the, hold the fuck oh, up. Sorry, I don't know if this is gonna be on YouTube or not. So I don't know if we can say that word. What about a engine part? <laughs> Very good, Devin. Very good. Always, I don't have to bleep it. There's always a way out. Yeah, mm-hmm. baby. There's always a way out. I'm every race, and I'll fucking say anything to Woo. get out of it. Fuck you all. Woo. We're we're talking engines here. Mm-hmm. So what happened Woo. with that stupid tranny? <laughs> <laughs> this is a car talk uh, podcast. Uh, here I shared it. Is yeah, this it how pretty, you saw it? It was pretty good. No, I just saw it randomly on. He's like Twitter. Rena- the owner of, of Chick Fil A is like renouncing. White people or something or Chick fil A just hired a VP of diversity, equity, and inclusion. This is bad, very bad. I don't want to have to boycott. Are we going to have to boycott? It's only a matter of time until they start putting tranny semen <laughs> in the frosted lemonade at this point. What? So I guess they someone was on Chick fil A's website. Yeah. For That's a normal some thing reason. to do. Kill that man. <laughs> Who the fuck goes to Chick fil A's website? Imagine reading that. You're just like committed to be. Oh, okay, maybe I'll try Chick Fil A someday. Yeah. So they hired a diversity guy. Is this him? Okay. Are, yeah, we, yeah, are yeah. we at the point Eric where Eric McReynolds? Are we him. at the point where if a company hires a black guy, it's called it's immediately like a diversity hire? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of going full circle now, where they're just not going to hire black people because people will be like, "You're just forcing it. You, you're mm-hmm. woke. Yeah, <laughs> it's not merit based. Yeah. This guy's like, I thought I was the CPA. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> They're like you're the you're the diversity guy. Yeah, and he looks like a like a Gus Fring type of guy. Yeah, I would trust him with my business. Well, he, I mean, he looks like an AI black guy to put on a website. I'll be honest with you, okay? I I like knowing black people are involved in my chicken sandwich. <laughs> Is that a wrong thing, Devin? That's fair. Is this eat? We have to get uh, throw a big fit over this. Mm-hmm. He's there to make the chicken yeah. better. Oh no. It makes me wonder, like, if if something was actually afoot at Chick Fil A, like, because they're like people are up in arms about Dude, this, right? People have, are bringing their AR-15s to Chick Fil A. Uh-huh. They're standing outside. Uh-huh. They they're 
in their Broncos with their rebel flags circling. Like it's mm. the walls of Jericho. They're they're eating their <laughs> wife's pussies outside Chick Fil A uh-huh. in protest to show them what cool sex is like. This is just it I, keeps happening. This type of shit. Imagine though, if if they're mad about that, imagine if Chick Fil A is like, "Hey, we crunched some numbers this year. We're we're gonna have to do away with Chick Fil A sauce." We're disbanding the Chick Fil A sauce. It's it's too. Exp- I, I mean, they would start burning them to the ground. Mm-hmm. It would look like mm-hmm. George Floyd, yeah. twenty twenty Minneapolis. Yeah, they would burn every Chick Fil A to the goddamn ground. They're, they they have another thing coming if they think people are actually going to boycott Chick Fil A. That too. People it's, it's just never it's too happen. good. Nobody cares. I mean, didn't they like kill a gay? They like mm-hmm. hate gay people, and people kept uh-huh. eating them. Yeah, Nobody yeah. cares. This they still they do. made Matthew Shepard into a sandwich, <laughs> and people were fine with it. Every fucking week, it's like a new conservative thing of people being like pissed off about a diversity hire. Conservatives think like planes are just crashing because they like started hiring like black pilots. Mm-hmm. Like they think there's like all these diversity hires, and so like planes are just crashing now because like the city girls are yeah, flying yeah. it. <laughs> Sure. You know, they think like Cardi B's up there. Mm-hmm. No, the the I'm I'm okay with having a black pilot. I mean, they never take off on time, but I mean, you know, they yeah. always have to stop at their cousins for gas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We got to stop at Ray Ray's real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're landing in uh, Birmingham real quick. We got a layover at Ray Ray's. <laughs> yeah, you're putting a pit bull into the overhead compartment. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Sir, that pit bull will, that fighting dog will not fit in there. <laughs> yeah, you might have seen that the neon has been ripped out from under the bottom of our plane. <laughs> well, now I, I haven't seen Soul Plane, so now I don't know if we're just doing we're, that movie. We're writing Soul Plane. I guess right Soul now. Plane. Yeah. Yeah. We're writing Soul Plane too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fair enough. Mm-hmm. The pilot's just like got her, uh, she's playing music on her phone in a cup. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. They're doing showtime on the plane, uh, knocking out just Asian doctors who they're having to drag out of the plane. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. This is not going to go anywhere. This Chick Fil A bullshit. Nobody cares. No, the sandwiches are too good. Like I said, they were hating gay people in like 2022, yeah. so they can get away with anything they want. They're good. Yeah, but did you see the guy who tweeted? I was telling you earlier the guy who tweeted the tranny semen thing. Oh, this this guy. Yeah, yeah. Go to his page. A bunch of people, Joey Manorino. Yeah. He's like, they're putting yeah. tranny semen, and then a bunch of people, I mean, I don't know. He looks like he fucks George Santos. That's what he looks like. <laughs> this, this is him. <laughs> you, you know, like, Liberace had that gay guy that he made surgically look like him? That's yeah. him for George he Santos. He does look like George Santos. Exactly. Yeah. Um, he tweeted, uh, they're going to put tranny semen in the, and then somebody went through his Twitter and you can search by a word, and they search just tranny semen, and he's tweeted about... He can't stop with the tranny like, semen. With the Bud Light stuff, he's like, I guess they're going to put tranny semen in the Bud Light. <laughs> it's like, dude, what are he you up to? He tweeted it like 80 times. So if you know if you go to his apartment, there's just buckets labeled tranny semen. <laughs> that he's just eating like glue. Yeah, this is him. He's just, he can't stop talking about tranny semen. See? Exactly. This is, every, this is literally every single day, though. Yeah. Wow. The Burlington <laughs> Coat Factory has tranny semen, and the Burlington... <laughs> sales of tranny semen are down. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is this is very strange. Is it still made with tranny semen? Tranny mm-hmm. semen. Tranny. The, the, he. They've only gone back like four or five days here. Yeah, you know, if, if this guy <laughs> wow. farts, it looks like the hallway scene in The Shining, but with cum. <laughs> <laughs> this guy farts and he has to change mm-hmm. his diaper. It's a cum flood. Yeah, yeah this guy farts. Classic cum flood. <laughs> you have to build an arc if this guy takes his shit. <laughs> I like There's a he... storm coming like you like you've never seen. <laughs> There's a gay guy uh-huh. gonna shit a bunch of cum out of his ass. <laughs> I tell you. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just very funny. The guy. It just never fucking stops. It never yeah. stops. Dude, he has a picture with Trump. Too. It's like hilarious. Everyone gets a picture. Oh with Trump. Jesus Christ! Well, that's, that's, you're I'm gonna, gonna have, have to timestamp that. All okay. Right. Was that a was that a trans person? That was penis? a dick. Well, because yeah. I to find this, I typed in tranny semen on Twitter. Oh and right. Since it is took you to a bunch of Ian Finance videos. Woo! <laughs> 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 Ooh, that was uh, mm-hmm. that. Was, I'm gonna have to remember to edit that out, or we're gonna be in big big time trouble. It's yeah. amazing how accessible Trump is. Like every single person has a picture with him. Mm-hmm. He's like a mall Santa. <laughs> Of, like, he really, did you see him after DeSantis announced the, the that he was running on yeah, Twitter Spaces? Yeah, he posted spaces? that video that was like uh, the, the making SpaceX. fun of it, the Spaces. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're just like, he's just, he's the goat, he's dude. He's just unbelievable. He just rules. It's just nonsense. All he does is win. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Except when he loses. 
He court- which he won. Which so. he won, though. <laughs> the Dominion voting. Don't even get me started on the Phoenix voting system. Oh, I know. Okay. It's fine. Shh, right. Devin, shh. Please, it's fine. I don't want Devin, to have another big fine. rant on my mm-hmm. hands. Take your, uh, take your blood pressure yeah. medicine. They're going to start putting tranny semen in the voting machines. You know about this ballot harvesting? <laughs> They're harvesting the ballots. <laughs> Uh, anybody that takes blood pressure medication, they take it with liquor, right? Anyone yeah. that has to take stuff yeah. like that, you they, have to. Yeah. Like, yeah, you have a little water glass like Devin has, but it's filled with Jameson. You, you open up your Lipitor and you pour it in your drink like bitters. <laughs> Mm, right, right. Yeah. If you take it without li- li- hard liquor, it just passes through you like corn. <laughs> you just shit out a pill shaped like a triangle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> when th- I think the last time I was in one of the last times I was in Texas, I went to a I went to a Chick Fil A, and everyone was so goddamn nice. Mm-hmm. They're the nicest people ever, especially in the cons- like they're nice here, they're great here, but especially in the conservative states, yeah. they're they're like uh it's like the freemasons they mm-hmm. they have some silent unspoken thing cuz i guarantee you the whole equity thing with chick-fil-a there's probably an asterisk at the bottom where about uh, everything about uh, equality and everything at the bottom it says works we're, ex- we're uh, absolutely excluding gay people yeah. from this state mm-hmm. yeah yeah we're, if, everybody e- except gay if I've, you if you read the fine print it's like it's a white equity uh officer <laughs> <laughs> yes i've also by the way i've never been to a chick-fil-a and someone's like uh, do you want extra pot? No, they're thoughts of thotter. No, and gay people are excellent uh, customer service people. You think I, I'd have one gay guy on rollerblades slinging chicken sandwiches yeah. out there? They are. Sometimes they like let the gayness. They think like it's a shield and they can get away with more because mm-hmm. they're gay. Like, I've seen theater kid gay. You, like you, know, you ever had like a gay flight attendant? Oh, sure. I mean, every time I've flown a plane. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're great, but there's something, they're a little too free for me. I'm like, all right, but you're at work here. Okay. <laughs> Protect professional. Just like, no, don't, don't sass me, mm-hmm. you know, in a funny way. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. They'll Get- start, they start a conversation with you. They're just like, uh, me and my husband, you know, he loves that movie. And I'm like, all right, I don't want to. Like, all right, enough. Get your hands away from okay, me. Okay, all right. You're dirty. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch my legs. Don't, touch, I hate don't the, touch my legs. I hate that I'm breathing your air right now. I know this is recycled gay air. <laughs> recycled recycled gay. gay air. I hate you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just, just being gay is just, f- you already are kind of funny. Like if you act gay. <laughs> people mm-hmm. just say, sure. you're, people, no, people just say you're funny. Yeah. I and mean, he's like, not a trope and, in film. But a lot of stuff. times they're not yeah. even a funny person. They're just literally gay but then you're an out you're like a homophobe if you say like yeah gay people are funny <laughs> right they're fucking yeah. weird and funny right because to, to identify yourself as gay you you are a comedic character yeah like it's if you like decide it, to be that type yeah. of gay it's like if you had to be gay you started talking like todd barry all of a sudden mm-hmm. right you'd be like oh that's a funny way to say things yeah and i'm Go. gonna suck a cock <laughs> I like stoic. When I'm done sucking it, I'm gonna. And I'm a air steward, so I can suck cock in other cities anonymously. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, that's why AIDS just ravaged the gay community. That's part of one of the reasons. Todd Berry is because of Todd Berry. <laughs> <Is it Yeah. laughs> Todd Berry. What if I fucked a monkey and then a guy? What if I had <laughs> HIV, the virus that causes AIDS? No, it's like it was like the patient zero for America. He was a flight attendant. And he was just fucking and sucking. Uh, that is true, actually. All over the country. Mm-hmm. And they literally, they when they were discovering what AIDS was, and they called it GRID. They, first, they called it the gay flu. That's what scientists were calling it. Uh, which is very funny. Right. And then they called it GRID, which is gay-related immune uh, deficiency, or gay-related immune deficiency disorder. Uh-huh. And they went to this pie, and they go, hey, you have this um, gay disease that's killing every gay person you fuck. And he was like, well, I really like fucking, so I'm going to keep doing that. And then he just... He just kept fucking his way around the nation yeah. for like three years. Good if you want to, if you want to write a complaint letter, that's to Gate, the... his name is even gay, <laughs> Gaden Doug- Dugas. Gaden it's, Duga. it's, it's Doug Ass. Gay- <laughs> <laughs> the gayest name of all time. Oh man. Yeah, he's a fr- was he like a French Canadian? Yeah, from yeah, that's what it says here. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, uh, he was misdescribed as patient zero, accusing him of introducing HIV to the United States. Yeah, he was an early spreader okay. of HIV. And here, by the way, here's like the CBC writing about him. It is funny that even when they describe this guy who, who like who caused the deaths of like thousands and thousands of uh, you know young men, they start this article with saying, <laughs> Gaten Douglas, Douglas Dugas was a handsome Air Canada flight attendant who mm-hmm. passed away at the age of 31 of 
Like they have to even say he was a beautiful. Yeah, they have like, to be like, listen, he was. He, he, come on, people listen. wanted to fuck him. Yeah, he had an eight pack and a nine inch dick. Yeah, all right, listen, come on. His ass was a petri dish. <laughs> <laughs> his balls looked like a tight knapsack. <laughs> you wanted to fuck yeah. this guy. Always drained. <laughs> I mean, not bad. If you were going to get He's AIDS hot. from a guy and die, it I'd, might as well be the I'd Jeffrey Dahmer no, type guy. Gay ass Douglas fuck me with AIDS. <laughs> yeah, I'd fuck him right now. What's I'd, his name? If it was 1981, I'd fuck him right now <laughs> and die of OG really sad AIDS. Yep. Wait, you're, you're telling me this guy had AIDS? <laughs> this guy. This guy? Yeah. You tell me this guy had AIDS. I know. Wild I'm, to believe. I'm not buying it. I'm going to need to uh, see some. Uh, some papers and that little that little uh, ascot is just to wipe cum off of his face. <laughs> he just kept it. He's like a southern dandy, but gay guy. <laughs> well, I do declare. Well, I declare. I have cum all across my brow, <laughs> like a little oh. fucking with his initials in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, this is kind of okay. I know we're doing a bit here, but this is kind of fuck. Can I clarify? Sure. Because I, I we don't want to speak ill of the dead here. Mm-hmm. Uh, even though speak, that is kind no, of the this, whole yeah. show. This, this country doesn't do that. <laughs> yeah. No one in this country speaks ill of the dead. Yeah. We don't want to speak ill of gay Hitler Yeah, over no, here. God forbid we speak ill of the dead. The only people that we have, like, literally no respect for. <laughs> the minute you die, we, like, come up with anything about yeah, why yeah. it mm-hmm. doesn't matter. We should move on with oh, our lives. Oh, 40 years after the Anybody fact. that mm-hmm. dies, it's like, yeah. oh, well, there was a time. People don't know, though, mm-hmm. about what he actually mm-hmm. was like. The, the falling man was ableist. Yeah. They'd be like, did you guys, I mean, remember when a fucking, what was the Playboy guy, Hugh Hefner, died? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And then all these articles came out where it was like, "Did you guys know he was running? <laughs> he was running Playboy. Like it was." <laughs> <laughs> Little did the public know he well, was running Playboy. Yeah. Many of you may think of him as you know a, a, a social leader, mm. but he was actually running Playboy. <laughs> right. Like I didn't. I thought it was all above board. Like I'm reading that and yeah. I'm like. Well, I'm going to take off my fucking captain's oh hat. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, many of you thought Hugh Hefner was an activist. He was actually a pussy hound. <laughs> You're like, I saw him hang out with... He hung out with Harry Belafonte that one time. <laughs> you telling me this guy was creepy towards women? Dude, fuck I thought he was just like a guy who like wore a robe and like like had like a pipe that like bubbles came out of the pipe. And like a big captain's hat. Yeah. Like a big captain's hat. Yeah, who, like, who would think the guy who fun? ran a place called The Grotto... Where just hot women, <laughs> hot dead women would wash out of it during the winter like a monsoon. Yeah, like dead carp. Yeah, like there's a, yeah, there's a fucking, there's algae. Yeah, there's a lawns keeper having to dig them out with a fucking wooden pole. Just dead hot women. Like they're logging. Like yeah. they're French Canadians. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's on top of them and he's running on them like a lumberjack. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Who would have thought that guy would be a creep? Yeah, who'd yeah. have thought? But yeah, a ninety-year-old yeah. man wearing a captain's hat. I thought he was a gentleman. We're allowed to speak ill of the dead, okay? The guy that started AIDS. Okay, listen. <laughs> rest in piss, bozo. <laughs> rest in piss, Doug ass. <laughs> I have a lot of gay friends that are dead because of you. He he would. My like... gay friends have to take prep now, Doug ass. God. Well, he would like it if he rested in piss. <laughs> Very Probably. good. It, Fuck yeah, dude. I, I want to piss on his grave, but he dr- he drink but it. But he drink it all like candy sitting. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's a, he's in hell right now, just being like this. This fucking rocks, <laughs> dude. I get to fuck the devil all day. <laughs> He loves, he loves hell. <laughs> I, I live in a house made out of piss, and I fuck the devil. This ruse. <laughs> Hell, or as I call it, gay guy heaven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, regular uh, guy hell. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. I was gonna clarify because I didn't want to. Because yeah, I gotta, know all we do is we talk shit about people that have died or yeah. are about to die. Or, yeah, we we do. We run a very mean show. We feel bad about. <laughs> mm-hmm. And we have conversations sometimes. Where we're like, are we good people? Mm-hmm. And we don't know. Yeah, I, I would know. like to save this good man's name. Okay. Gay, 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 yeah. duck, gay, duck guy, gay guy dumbass. Yeah, gay dead dumbass that started started AIDS. Yeah, what, what were you saying about gay guy dumbass? Uh, oh, God. So it says that the same month Dugas died, a study in the American Journal of Medicine traced many early HIV infections to him. Uh, he was not named in the study, but instead listed as patient O, which stood for outside California, where one of the researchers was studying the case. This was ultimately misread as patient zero, 
leading many people reading and discussing the study to refer it to as patient zero. And then in 1987, journalist Randy Schiltz identified patient zero as Dugas, while also depicting him as something of a sociopath who intentionally infected his sexual partners, a move which received instant intense media coverage in the mainstream press. Oh, like the bug chaser shit? I guess so, uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's, he was a- that's so I think that's what I read, because that's how they painted it. So he him. was into mm-hmm. it and he was trying to give people AIDS? That's what I I got this from And the Band Played On, which was a book and then an HBO series. Uh-huh. And that's how they talk about him. Presented oh. as like a documentary well, type. They okay. also like to do this where they rewrite him. That's him that's him getting AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just get that's AIDS him, if you ride a swing. That's him swinging into an ass. <laughs> yeah. Any adult man that rides a swing set that happy gets AIDS. <laughs> but by the way, they also this is what they do now is they rewrite history. Remember the guy on the subway who they're like the he Michael just, Jackson. He was just guy? a Michael Jackson yeah, before we right. loved Michael Jackson. He was just your friendly, crazy Michael Jackson guy <laughs> who threatened yeah, women all day yeah. long. Who had like uh, knives for fingers. Yeah, he was just doing crazy yeah. shit on the subway. He was a lovely Freddy Krueger impersonator. <laughs> Every morning in the afternoon, you'd have to run. Right. He, he replaced his feet with <laughs> knives so he could dance better. There, and then video surfaced of him like uh, it was like a, a scene in Ghost with Patrick Swayze, but it's just a big ball of crack. Like he's just molding, <laughs> he's just molding a crack ball on a kiln mm-hmm. and just like just like huffing it and smoking it. Mm-hmm. I saw. You know how many times I saw that guy's penis on my timeline where someone goes, "Oh yeah, he pulled his." His penis and balls out and squeezed him really the, hard. The, the Jordan Neely. Guy? Yeah, and it, by the way, this is like people, before anyone people even go, knew. for deck for for like yeah. twelve years. This guy, and that doesn't mean he should no, be choked I, out. He obviously, shouldn't be killed. But, but everything I saw for days after he died was he was. But that's what they. So I don't even know if I can trust this now. Maybe this guy yeah, was a sociopath. I don't know. And they just found one photo of him on a swing. He kind of does look like the guy that killed him. <laughs> he looks like Daniel Penny. Yeah, he does. He does look like he's about to choke out the Michael guy who Jackson. Out yeah. The, yeah, he looks like he's about to choke out a Michael Jackson impersonator for not looking fabulous enough. <laughs> mm-hmm. I do like I'm not, nice pack, dude. He's got a dude, big old dick. Dude, look at his fucking dick, dude. Man, oh, wow. wow, that was shooting the AIDS right into your heart. That's yeah. They're like in the side. They're like his big dick gave you AIDS better. <laughs> they like injected it in the middle of you. <laughs> I do like to imagine the Michael... I didn't really read about that, but I like to imagine just like an Asian tourist in New York when that's happening and they think it's the real Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael choked, Jackson's being killed. Getting choked to death. <laughs> oh, they my. don't know about impersonators. Damn. He was a very Handsome attractive man. guy. Wow. Yeah. Handsome guy. Yeah. Also a sick individual that <laughs> gave the world his, he his, like, his novel disease. He's a depraved man. He's depraved. He kind of looks like a hot cat. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. He looks like he likes to fuck men in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, then I yeah. explained to you what a gay guy I is. Go, Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, that's what they do? That's a thing? Oh, fuck. We got to get to Chick-fil-A right now. <laughs> this says here, it says, at a time when 600 men were dead or dying, the news of a gay plague was greeted with derisive laughter. The complete disregard evidence for the lives of gay men still leaves me speechless. Apparently, that was leaked in a White House press conference from October 1982, which is in this film. So that was like so, Ronald Reagan's people saying so, that? So I guess that, yeah, they learned about, someone had to come to them and they're like, there's this plague, but it's gay. Right. And, and, oh, and someone Ray, was like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're like, Mr. Reagan, there's a disease that's attacking gay. Yeah. And he's like, oh, oh dude. Fuck. <laughs> dude, <laughs> Mr. Ray- kicks ass. <laughs> Mr. Reagan, wake up. No, trust me. You're going to want to see this. <laughs> Mr. Reagan, put the bong down. What? Oh, uh, it's fucking kidding gay people? Yeah. Dude, that fucking racks. His He's wife just... walks out, wife and cum off yeah. the what? Reagan's just yeah. falling asleep in a chair watching Nancy suck off Mr. T. He's like, yeah, Reagan's just like, dude, God is so good. God is so... He sent a plague to take them all to hell. Reagan's like, oh, yeah, I prayed for this last night. Yeah. I prayed that this would happen. I put on... Every night I put on my cowboy hat and pray while Nancy sucks off Mr. T. What What the fuck does he sound like again? Doesn't he sound like kind well, of an he's asshole? Like, he's like, well... Well, 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 my well. wife fucks big black guys. <laughs> I'm I'm Ronald Reagan. Well, well, I'm Ronnie Reagan. I'm Ronnie Reagan, and my my wife can unhinge your jaw for mm. black guy. Well, <laughs> no, I mean Rock Hudson wrote a letter 
you guys know about that Rock Hudson was like dying of AIDS and he was like best friends <laughs> you laugh <laughs> That was the only time you shouldn't. I'm have sorry. Been. I do that. God, what are you, mm. gay man, dug at, dumbass, or what was this guy? <laughs> gay, gay, man, guy d- gay guy, dumbass. <laughs> gay guy, dumbass. <laughs> Huge cock. Huge yeah. cock. Yeah, yeah, real nice fag. Maybe that's yeah. why they called him gay guy. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Uh, but no, Rock Hudson was like best friends with. <laughs> Don't start laughing. I'm though. not. He and was he a wrote this. great actor and he died of AIDS. Mm-hmm. I know. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad that he, uh, Rock Hudson died of uh, HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. <laughs> yeah, the novel coronavirus. <laughs> you know, like those people who in 2022 were saying mm-hmm. the novel coronavirus. Yeah. No, Rock Hudson fell to the uh, AIDS 19. Mm-hmm. You still call it GRID. Yeah. What's wait? What is grid? Gay related immune disorder. <laughs> no. That's what I I just told you. The no. the first scientist studying it, it, like grid, literally yeah. like Doctor Fauci. I swear to God, uh, we're like the first they called it gay flu, and the gay yeah. people were like, "All right, don't fucking call yeah. it." Yeah. And he goes, "Hold on, hold on. We haven't tested it on enough beagles yet, and <laughs> yeah. killed them and tortured them. Well, so co- we're not exactly sure." COVID was at was really just like China's like AIDS. Mm-hmm. Like yes. it was like because Chinese people are such freaks, they like fucked a pangolin and gave the world. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, they Eiffel, COVID AIDS. They Eiffel towered weird rats. Yeah, and it was stuff. just a bunch of ladies, like you know, drenched in gutter oil, mm-hmm. having sex with bats. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Women with with the mouse traps on their tits mm-hmm. and weird uh, old sour milk squirting out of them into a bowl. Yeah. yeah, and then a dog's licking that, and then that shits onto a baby's head. And then the baby dies, and it goes in the earth, and a flower comes out. Yeah, and then an old Chinese guy bends over and eats the plant. And then that's and then, how COVID started. And then yes. that guy fucked that was, them. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> the French Canadian guy fucked that guy. Mm-hmm. And then that's how we got COVID. <laughs> yeah. When people were like, can you believe COVID started in China? I'm like, oh, the place where they throw all their babies in a river and like they just wash up on a shore. <laughs> right. And I have a hard time. Yeah. I have a fucking hard time believing in that one. It started at a place called a wet market? Well, that sounds really oh, clean. Wow. A wet market? That sounds really clean. In China, you say? Who'd yeah. have thought? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. People barbecuing <laughs> chimpanzee ass. Mm. <laughs> Enough. My, uh, I was so sick of having to like keep quiet during that. Yeah. I was like, of course they started that shit. Yeah. Are we allowed to do this, by the way? <laughs> well, <laughs> we, might, we might just make this one the Patreon. Yeah, we don't knows. know yet. My favorite was like the first couple weeks of COVID. People were like, you see how it happened? And then they're like, it's the bat soup. And then they would show a picture of a bowl of soup and then a bat. Literally. <laughs> like with sunglasses and, a, and like a Corona. Yeah, like the Raisin Brand sun. Yeah. Like the bat just got back from a Jimmy Buffett concert <laughs> and is trying to like get his wife to fuck somebody yeah. at the it hotel. Has a, yeah. He has a Dave Matthews shirt on. <laughs> just chilling in the hot tub. Yeah. Just a bat that's like, I smoke too much fucking weed, dude. I got to stay in the tub. <laughs> no, but so they changed... I have to tell you, so they changed it from gay flu to gay-related immune disorder, Mm -hmm. and then eventually to AIDS. (laughs) Okay. Because AIDS, they knew, AIDS was a better... Punchline. Yeah, like eight sounds really fun. But like, dude, a lot of comics are gonna have great jokes with that as right. a punchline. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The Boston comedy scene really needs this mm-hmm. in 1987. Yeah. Um, and uh, oh god, what was I gonna? So Rock Hudson wrote a letter. He was begging to get on all these experimental drugs that, like Fauci, like literally, like Fauci, I think, or other people at the the CDC were like yeah. blocking. The drugs from like Dallas Buyers yeah, Club. Yeah, Fau- was Fauci the villain in Dallas Buyers Club? It's actually stopping them from getting. That's what I, I don't know if that's true, but I'm going to say I, it is. We're going to run with it. So. Yeah. Okay. So Fauci was evil. <laughs> so Fauci and hated gays, yeah. killed gay people. <laughs> killed gay people. Um, and Rock Hudson like wrote like he kept trying to call Nancy and she'd be like hello and he'd be like it's Rock and they just hang up the phone <laughs> and he'd be like fuck. She's like can you get can you get this disease through the phone? <laughs> yeah. I'm hanging up. <laughs> We it's, don't know yet. I have a busy day sucking cock. <laughs> Excuse me. And then uh, he wrote like this big letter to Ronald Reagan and Nancy being like, please, I'm begging yeah. you. I'm dying. I weigh 95 pounds. Mm-hmm. And they're just like, well, he's fucking gay. And they just like <laughs> put it in a paper shredder. And he yeah. died like a couple weeks fucking later. Fucking Ronnie Darko. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I'm Ronnie Darko. He did go. He did go. Uh, like dark, you know how they say Biden goes uh, dark. Uh, dark Biden. Dark, dark, dark Brandon. Dark Brandon. Yeah. He was. Uh, Ronnie Reagan had his own moment where he was. Do- Ronnie Darko. Ronnie Darko. Yeah. yeah. He was involved in a shooting. So 
Oh, it's kind of like Ronnie Darko. He did get yeah, he got popped, fucking capped. But nothing happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he got fine. like shot in his liver too. Yeah, he got shot in like the belly, and then one of his uh, his like uh, the members of his cabinet got like domed right in the fucking head and was paralyzed for the rest of his life. Yeah, mm-hmm. and there was in a he was like a Republican guy. He was in a wheelchair, and then he fo- he founded a lot of gun reform based around that. And nothing bad has happened with guns ever since then. Nope, mm. and it all worked out. <laughs> I'm Ronnie Darko, and my wife sucks black dick. I, sh- <laughs> I had Alzheimer's for the last four years <laughs> as president, but also we had Top Gun, so it was a fun time for everybody. <laughs> By the way. Yeah. Who cares if the guy's in, tr- in charge of the blood and his brain is melted? We got Top Gun. Probably the only first lady to <laughs> sleep around, by the way. Oh, no. Eleanor Roosevelt. You guys think other first ladies were sleeping around? Definitely. Eleanor Roosevelt was eating like mad pussy in the White House. But that's because her husband was in a wheelchair, right? Yeah, true. I mean, she was also just a lesbian. Wait, who... Who is Eleanor Roosevelt married to? Because we had two Roosevelt. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Okay, so I was not a retard. I was right. Yeah, yeah you were not retarded in that. So her sense. husband went into a wheelchair and she became a lesbian. Of course. Mm-hmm. That yeah. makes a lot of what, sense. What, she's supposed to fuck his limp, paralyzed dick? Or his polio? What did yeah. he have? He had polio. Polio, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Fucking, hey, you know how many blankets she would have to pull off just to suck that thing? <laughs> Yes, yeah, feeling his like weird bone yeah. legs clank against Fucking, her. You know, you're married to the Hector Salamanca, the president. <laughs> He's just ringing a bell. Yay, yay, Pearl Harbor. <laughs> yeah, his dick's in an iron lung. <laughs> they use an iron lung as a penis pump to get his dick hard. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, if I was FDR's <clears throat> wife, sure. His knees look sharp. Mm-hmm. Oh, I could just, stick his knee bone right up my pussy. Yeah, you just grind that. Yeah. His kneecap. I just sit on it and just kind of wiggle yeah. around like this. Grind that. Come s- on, baby. <laughs> you just do that. Can, can you fuck limp? Like, can you just stuff stuff your limp so, dick and balls in a woman's pussy? Oh, I've yeah. thought about this. Like, you can do that. You can do it, right? Yeah, I've okay. done that. Yeah. I've, I've thought about how you could do this. If you were a lady and your husband was paralyzed, you sit him up right there on the uh, the washing machine. Or the dryer. <laughs> right. And you ride them with their limp little wee-wee up your, your pussy. Sure. And you set the dryer at... You could be doing a load, too. You throw a load in. Oh, well, yeah. Set it Kill on. two birds with one stone. Sure, you might yeah. as well be doing... Mm-hmm. You don't it's a waste, lazy Sunday. Waste yeah. electricity. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Get something done. Also, I think it's like a microwave where you can't like leave a dryer going if there's no clothes in it, right? It'll blow up. Sure, I that's I don't think that's <laughs> I don't true. Think, at I don't all, think a microwave works like that either. Yeah, no, I think it you doesn't? turn a microwave on and nothing. Why would you think that? Because then the microwave's like cooking itself. Yeah, they're like, they're like <laughs> <laughs> the microwave goes. I don't know, dude. Just fucking blow up. Just I, we gotta blow up. We gotta yeah. explode, dude. <laughs> right. They're like, by the way, if you don't put pizza in this, it will it will kill everyone in your family. <laughs> it costs forty dollars. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's how you fuck your paralyzed president husband. Sure. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Yeah. Yeah. You have his soft penis in, inside of you and it just keeps wiggling and then you come. And he probably doesn't jizz, but who cares? Who gives yeah. a shit? He j- he probably jizzes like just martini liquid that he had left over. Drank yeah. a lot of martinis. Oh, he did? FDR. And you know how he lied about being able to walk? Because nobody knew he couldn't walk until he was like out of office. And that was only, what, a year the last year in no, office, he was he president walk? for like sixteen years, and he couldn't fucking no, walk. No, but like the last year, he I think like walk. the last eight years, he couldn't walk. Wow, the whole last half, like the whole last half. But Crazy. What, he, what he would do, they would just like they would just tie metal around his fucking legs, like put him in braces, so they were straight like that. And then they would just like open a curtain, and he would be at a podium, and then he'd give his speech. He'd be like, "All right, I'll see you, everybody." And then like two secret service aides would come up, and he would just grab on either side of them. And then just like rock his fucking uh. like strapped up body back and forth and pretend he was like walking. Fuck. Yeah, I totally buy that Biden is dead. Yeah. Man. If they did that with FDR, I totally buy that Biden is not alive and it's a it's one hundred percent a body double. Mm-hmm. Oh, 100%. Yeah. And Kamala has a drone in her head driving her body. Mm-hmm. Oh, the little men in black alien. Yeah, I th- it feels like the third day they just put a pickaxe in the back of her skull. It's crazy. And just, like squished it around. <laughs> she is worse than him. 
Yeah. She has her faculty. She has worse faculties than Joe Biden. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Every time she speaks, how retarded it is. Mm-hmm. She reminds me of the first time I met a mom who takes Xanax. It's yes. like always that type of vibe. The vibe of a woman that has to take like two Xanax just to get on the freeway, <laughs> like just to drive 50 miles per hour. Yeah. yeah. That vibe of you're hanging out with your friends. The mom comes over. She's like kind of. Like you get the vague thing. It's like, is she gonna like fuck us right now? Yes, one of those. She's always got a glass of like Pinot. Mm-hmm. She's slopping. Like one of her titties is kind of mm-hmm. falling out a little bit. Mm-hmm. She's like, you're such a big strong man. Yes, uh, could you help me move some some furniture? You're like, well, I'm gonna go jack off in the bathroom. Well, right now. The, uh, we want to work on this country because it's the it's the country we all live in, <laughs> and. I think as vice president that I'm I'm starting to think I'm vice president. She That's does, like every speech. Yeah, she almost starts to talk like Don Knotts a little bit. It's so <laughs> weird. She's like, well, 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 you want me to run what? <laughs> the capital of what? <laughs> well, Andy, we I can't can- be the vice president. I'm retarded. <laughs> Do you guys ever get mad when you think of the, we did it, Joe. Oh, yeah. we did. Sometimes I just I'm doing something and I think of that and I go mm. fucking god damn it. Yeah, I just like go back into my yeah, body. Yeah, just we like did she, it. Yeah, it's like she's riding a dick or something. Mm-hmm. It's like we did it. We Joe. did it, Joe. Oh, we did it, Joe. We did it, Joe. We did it, Joe. <laughs> I felt your pre cum. You, I, what I do like about Biden, he's one of my favorite presidents ever because he looks the most retarded out of all of them somehow. Yeah, and it's literally because he looks. His head, uh, you can see the craters in it. Mm-hmm. Like, you can see the big soft yes. spot on the side of his head that only, I thought only babies had those. He's like regrowing the uh, the baby thing that you can push <laughs> yeah. in. Yeah, he's regrowing. His skull's growing apart. <laughs> he's also that old. It's like Pangea. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's that level of elderly when they lose a ton of weight and you're like, oh, grandpa, you look great. And then your grandpa like dies two weeks later <laughs> Yeah, because it's definitely a bad right. sign. You're like, grandpa, you look great. He's like, I'm wasting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's, he's that, like he kind of looks good skinny for an old guy he yeah. doesn't have like old person fat mm-hmm. but that's just because he's not like his body's you, living off of you his lost fat. five mm-hmm. pounds because it's your vertebrae melted yes yeah exactly because his body's gonna start eating his bones soon like it eats it goes to the bones and the bones marrow and then uh, yeah they're the bone marrow and then eventually then you're just done he's then you a, drop he's a fall away from dying like i mean if he, it's you know he's at that age when like an old person falls and it's that's it that's what made me think also it was it's stunt double guy that they had because he fell over on a bike six months ago yeah that bike pretty hard yeah Yeah. he did and he got up like it was he got up like it it was a johnny knoxville bad grandpa or what is it called the whatever where he pretends to be something you had it bad grandpa grandpa. grandpa. you're overthinking it well i didn't know what what's the robert de niro one evil grandpa that's called gay grandpa (laughs) yeah (laughs) hey it's me bobby de niro i owe 10 million (laughs) dollars in back taxes (laughs) you did you told me that i just told i just told he does I, t- I think I was He's texting broke. Him. So I, I Robert De Niro is broke. I saw it online. Robert De Niro in 2015, he got hit with a an 8.5 million dollar like you owe this in taxes oh from the God. government. And then his wife, who's been married to his black wife, who's been married to for like 20 years, <laughs> he had another kid I'm with sorry, recently, I'm sorry. right? Yeah, yeah. He's got seven fucking kids. Yeah. And his wife, he literally like hired a lawyer to try and get his wife's credit card like shut, like reduced. Yeah. Because her credit card was like five hundred grand a month. He's like, I want it at two fifty. Two fifty is reasonable. So they're getting divorced. He owes a million a year in alimony. So this this lady's just like bleeding him. He has like literally, and then in COVID oh, during COVID, COVID hit, and all his st- stupid bullshit restaurants went under. He owns Nobu and all that stuff. And then during COVID, they didn't make any money, so they were all deep, deep, deep in the red. Right. Mm-hmm. I love how Robert De Niro is like the same as like a guy at the NBA All Star Game, <laughs> like getting tricked by a like a hoe. Oh, they should do a thirty for Dude, thirty he's like, on him. He's like yeah. the Sean Kemp of actors. Yeah, he's he's got like thirty kids. <laughs> Dude, he's gonna be applying for his CDL pretty soon. He's gonna be like driving a oh fucking new Oh my god, I didn't know he apparently owed so he much declared taxes. bankruptcy and stuff. Like he's he's like at zero. That's but why he, he kept but doing he, all those bad movies. Yeah, but he still yeah. owes it's it's tax money, so you can't do bankruptcy on that. Right. So he's still paying off that. And alimony, I don't think you can do bankruptcy on. I think no, with, I don't I think, think it's with either. his businesses he declared bankruptcy on oh, some those of, or are, something. Well, that's yeah, fine, yeah. but he's still got like real shit he's got to pay. Wouldn't we imagine if he if Robert De Niro dies in prison? <laughs> oh, like the, I know, the greatest like, the Irishman. like, like mm-hmm. Jake Lamotta or the Irishman or something <laughs> like that'd be 
kind of poetic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's just got Sebastian Maniscalco's yeah. coming up to him and asking him to dip the bread in the juice. Yeah. He goes, chew it up for me. I can't eat it. Chew it up. Yeah, so now he's having to do all these bullshit like the war with Grandpa type movies because he literally can't stop working. The Comedian? Mm. That yeah. was the best movie I've ever seen. The Comedian, What yeah. was that? It's a movie where he's like the greatest roast comic of all time and he's at the cellar. Edie Falco's in it. It's unbelievable these things get made. Mm-hmm. And you, yeah, it's amazing. The whole movie made. When was this? This was a few years back. The comedian. Oh, he's at the cellar. The, all these comics are in it. He's the. He has like no zero delivery. Like it's the. Oh, he's like man. the worst comic ever. But in the movie, he's the best comic like that's ever lived. He's like this legend. Oh, it's God. so bad. I think I watched something like that, but it was like a comedian and his manager on a road trip. Oh, and... you're thinking of the Matt Rife movie where he's a vampire? <laughs> no, no, I don't know what the fuck that <laughs> Wait, is. What? You know what no... Matt Rife's in a movie <laughs> where he's that, a vampire. Look that up right now. What? <laughs> Type in Matt Rife, Jamie Kennedy vampire movie. Okay, he real, just sucks real quick the... before I forget. Wait, wait, what were you saying? He sucks the blood of black ple- <laughs> black people. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking. Right. Of... Yeah, he needs juice. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Chevy Chase and like Richard Dreyfus were in a movie two years ago about how a comedian and his old manager rekindle a relationship in an old folks home a retirement home and then they start going on a road trip and he, he becomes a famous comedian again like back in the 70s when he was big with hmm. like performing with uh, all those guys like Rich Little or whatever the hell. Uh, Those great impressionists. Yeah. yeah. Rich Little. They'd be like, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is uh, Mike Tyson. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> get away from me. Yeah, Rich Little. Psych- we talked it's about like the him. the worst like, impressionist ever. Yeah, he's, he's like, all right, everybody, Barack Obama. And he's like, <laughs> hey, man, what the fuck? I'm the fuck is shit. <laughs> I'm the first president and shit. Motherfucker, I'm the president and shit. It's 2008, motherfucker. Is it? Yeah, here you go. No. I Try already gave away the, the twist. Is that Jamie? Oh, Jamie God. Kennedy, yeah. Oh, my God. Man. I know. <laughs> I saw Jamie Kennedy live about two years ago, and it was one, it was one of the most brutal things I, I've ever seen. I was on a show with him one time. I, uh, he, he came up after me, and he was one of the lowest points of my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I saw him. I was going to my friend was doing a taping, and he was the host. And he looked he looked like somebody had cut Jamie Kennedy's face off and was impersonating him, like put it over a normal no, sized hat. This person, this is a pharmacist nightmare right here. <laughs> <laughs> if they see this guy coming, they're like, Jesus Christ! Yeah, why can't it just be Julianne Moore and Magnolia, yeah. or like someone like that? This, this guy is the reason Sudafed is locked up <laughs> at a CVS. <laughs> Okay, let's watch this fucking... Why would I ever do that? You've seen people bomb. This kid next levels it. I am a vampire. For the record, I'm neither Team Edward or Team Jacob. I rooted for the sun. Give it up for Count Dracula, everybody. He was so scary, he scared the laps. Uh, I think we got to talk over this from time to time. Oh, right. We're speechless. <laughs> right, right. Just I, I can't even right. believe what I'm looking <laughs> at. I'm sorry. Never needed an opener. Right, the movie's called Black. Yeah. yeah. What's up? I have a commitment for you to This open is like up freaky the brand Oh, Jimmy Schubert. Pick an opener. One's going to be appointed for you. All right. If you take me, and I will pay for every expense. Jimmy, say? can I tell Jimmy Schubert a joke real quick? Yeah, yeah. go for it. He goes, I, I don't know Jimmy Schubert. I like Jimmy Schubert. He yeah. tells it like it is. Yeah, dude, Jimmy <laughs> Schubert's fucking best. He's like, uh, he goes, uh, kids today, they go, uh, everybody, you know, he's got the smartphones. He goes, what they should call them is dumb phones. Because it's, <laughs> it's making everybody you know, dumb. I, you know, I've thought about that. <laughs> But you didn't have the balls to say. I just it. never <laughs> could say it out loud. And he goes, uh, he goes, everybody at the, at the, you know, are you, I gotta have the phone. He pulls out his phone when he does it, but I don't have my phone. Here, Use the here, remote. There is a phone right here. So he's like, everybody at the grocery store is like, oh, uh, oh. Uh. He's like, folks, the zombie apocalypse is already here. You know, it's shit like that. Yeah, and he yeah. Goes, uh, Damn. He goes, wow. the guy at the grocery store. He goes, uh, I go, hey, hey, asshole, move it along. He looks up from his phone. He goes. I'm playing Angry Birds. I'm like, yeah, I got two Angry Birds for you right fucking here. Okay. okay I Move do. it the fuck on. I do love that. I think I fucked up the joke because he says I'm playing Angry Birds wow. too. And he goes, I have two Angry Birds for you right here. I'm sorry. I fucked up the joke. Jesus, yeah. that was great. Apologies <laughs> to Jimmy Schubert. 
Yeah. But it's one of my favorite. I, I, it's on his Instagram from like 2017, and sometimes I spend 35 minutes yeah. scrolling back, and my mm. wife's like, "What are you doing?" Yeah, like because she's like, "You've been doing this in bed for 30." I'm like, "I have to find this one." Pub. Yeah, Katie's Schubert's. screaming for you. She's like in danger. <laughs> You're watching yeah. Jimmy Schubert stand up. Dude, yeah. G- Jimmy is an old road comic that has told me stories that are, it's heartbreaking. He told me, he told me, uh, he knows knew a lot of ventriloquists on the road back in the eighties and the nineties. Yeah, who their best friend was their dummy, and when he was opening for guys like that, he would see them by the pool at like the Holiday Inn with the ventri- with the they would puppet. be putting sunscreen on the puppet, talking to the puppet, <laughs> like Lars and the Real Girl, yes. shit. like guy, mm-hmm. like a guy in a relationship mm-hmm. with a sex doll. That was like I always heard that as like that was a joke that the the puppet guys always killed themselves in the eighties. Like every week there was a new ventriloquist guy who killed himself. Yeah, it's yeah. probably true though. I mean, probably. But that's my favorite thing is like the the road. Is, it's just the worst stories I've ever heard though. Yeah. One after the other. Mm-hmm. I just. I loved every old guy you met who just like clearly got into it in the eighties and was like, "Fuck, I have two kids," and like they just ridden it out. And they're going up and they're like, yeah, I got I got Wi-Fi, a Wi-Fi hey, <laughs> dumb, kind bitch. <laughs> and they're like, why do I make 30 grand a year? <laughs> why? I don't know it. Do you remember the cruise ship we went on and we uh, saw those two comics? Uh, Manny Rivera. Yeah, who actually, he really made me fucking laugh. He leveled the place. Because he went up, it was two, it was like two Laugh Factory guys. It was like a carnival cruise that was just like from hell. Yeah. Yeah. It might as well have been like bugs, just bugs on a cruise. <laughs> yes. Everybody, it looked like, uh, it looked like Spawn. Yeah. It looked like when they fall into hell and Spawn. It looked like the, the clown from Spawn. It was a bunch of John Leguizamo's walking around. And you go to the buffet and people are just like, yeah, 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 like, just like scooping armfuls of like hash browns, burning just their hands. Taking the trays. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, taking one off, putting it, and then taking the whole tray. And I fucking, uh, that was the boat. I I was sober for six months, and then I relapsed on the boat. Mm Because they all, at one point we were at dinner, and the the staff started, they bust into Gangnam style, because it was like 2014. mother of God. And I I ripped a whiskey Coke out of Ben's hand, and I just started drinking it after being sober six months. Whoop num gang them stop. You know the remember gang. Yeah, whoop num gang them stop. I remember it well. Wait, all the whole weight staff is yeah. doing this, whoop, whoop. and right. then there's oh. a bunch of 500 pound uh, just red uh, just seals, gelatinous blobs. Just seals, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, tell the machine story. Yeah, a bunch of Burt Kreischer fans. Yeah, guys with guys with pickaxes yeah. in their skull, be yeah. like. The machine was legendary. <laughs> just everyone in the theater just with a hula hoop around their mm-hmm. neck. Uh, 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 mm-hmm. uh, you know the showing uh, of that. Can we talk about that? What? what? Just you know the showing of the machine. Uh, am I my brother's keeper? Yeah. Did you guys see it yet? I want to go see it. I want to, but I'm worried the theaters are full of just shit and piss yeah. everywhere. <laughs> if you well, how are they going to have... Is it all handicap seating in the theater? I don't know. Like, how is, but how is any... I think, literally, I think it's literally like cattle guards, like Temple Grandin built, <laughs> going into the theaters. So these fat retards could just bump and not trample each other. And then they just end up in a mound in the middle of the theater, and then the machine starts playing. Uh, well, they just they just unbuckle their pants and start pissing up yeah, into the yeah. air like a baby. <laughs> If you go to see the machine and there's and there's a bunch of fat shirtless guys there, do you get afraid like it's like the Joker shooting? Like it's the same as seeing a guy dressed like the Joker? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh man. Oh jeez. Just um, a fucking just a sea of flesh. Mm-hmm. As far as the eye can see. Yeah. I'm sure the movie's gonna make nine trillion dollars. Yeah, probably. I've heard it's fun for the whole family. Yeah. Every when the movie ends, they come and spray you with the hose as you walk out. <laughs> just hit you. <laughs> they have to de lapse you yeah, they on throw, your way they out. They throw a lie into your face. <laughs> yeah. You go, it's from the story. <laughs> it's like the story, but it's different. Yeah. And the Star Wars guy is there, but he's not the Star Wars guy. <laughs> he's Bud's dad, and Bud is fat. They're just, they're just dropping shit like a horse in a parade behind them. The concession stands are serving fried <laughs> Lipitor. <laughs> yeah, they've got the electric paddles built into the seats, <laughs> so you can just revive yeah, yeah, yourself. Yeah, your seat is a defibrillator. <laughs> There's like a Gerber baby food coming out of the icy machines. 
into the cups. <laughs> just like mushed carrots. Yeah. And apples. Can I get a box of popcorn and my own shit? <laughs> can you give me this shit in a cup? <laughs> and they're holding their own turd that they brought in from home. <laughs> they open. The, they're going to the machine and they open the freezer. They go. I've been saving this one all week. And they grab a turd with their bare hands and take it to the theater. Uh, man. Yeah. Fuck. Good stuff. But anyway, so that's everybody there should be shot and killed. But we're, <laughs> we were on the cruise. Um, <laughs> You're calling for their public execution. I'm publicly, public I'm publicly calling for their execution. That's right. I'll double down on it. Uh, I wonder how much longer till he's not following me on Instagram anymore. But yeah, right I know. Away. It's yeah. We'll see. Nice guy, by the way. Really nice guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I like in my comedy. <laughs> <laughs> manners. I love manners on stage. I love knowing the guy's good etiquette. <laughs> That's, he's a uh, great. He's hilarious. He's fat, and he's you know. <laughs> he takes his he takes his shirt off too. I don't know if you knew that. I I haven't seen him do that. He'll take his shirt off sometimes, and then like he'll he'll. Chop. But like he has another shirt on under the he'll that shirt like an undershirt. No, no, he what? takes his full shirt off, and then he like he'll chug, and then he wait, tells so, wait, these so he's, stories. Wait, so he's shirtless. Sometimes. He he'll get shirtless. But he's like what? fat, and it's kind of freeing when you watch it. Wouldn't you, you be embarrassed? And it makes you laugh. No, it doesn't make him embarrassed, and that's why, like, that's it's that's why that's why I like. Dude, it a that's lot. like that's like Dylan going electric, man. It's crazy, dude. dude that's like no, that's, I know. That's a revolution. It's really it's amazing. No, it's like it's like Jesus. As soon as they like me, make them unlike yeah. me, which is true for his career. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he really brought out the eight oh eights. Oh, I left this light on. I yeah. Have anyway, that. Ben, but Burt Kreischer is fat as shit, <laughs> and he tells jokes. Sure. Stories. Sure. Mm -hmm. And this was based on a story he told. Mm -hmm. uh, the movie's based and, on and Ben. The story's real. It's a definitely true story. <laughs> <laughs> captured by the mafia. Okay. Okay. And they, it's they loved him. A true story. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He single-handedly mm. killed all philosophy coming out of Russia. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. So anyway, we're on this cruise. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. One time we were on a cruise, and then uh, this guy named Manny Rivera. As soon as you grab the mic, he goes, "Turn the house lights up." And then they like raise them slightly, and he goes, "Nope, up, up. Turn them all the way up." And they turn the house lights up till full brightness. He can see everybody. It's, it doesn't even look like a show anymore. But he's still on stage, and he steps down, and there's an Asian couple in the front row. And he walks up to them and he goes like this and he starts leaning. And I like grab Jay. Me, me and Ben are and I'm like, like me and Ben are hammered and we start grabbing each other. You know in Def Jam comedy specials when they cut to the audience and the guy there's that one guy that's like, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> like I was doing that shit. Because I knew I I felt it coming. Yeah. And he just It was he, just it, he hadn't said anything. anything. He just, uh, we saw him walking, gonna... to a, walking to a table of people who looked particularly Asian, Asian. by the way. Hell yeah. And, he just, and okay. we saw the hands and we were like, And then he leans forward like this very slowly and he goes, Hello. <laughs> oh First joke. <laughs> Destroys. <laughs> right at the gate. Kills. Destroys. Of course. Yeah. Of course. yeah. Kills. Yeah. yeah. Then he starts pacing the room. Everybody, because it's a cruise, so a lot of it is immigrants, or not immigrants, but uh, foreigners. <laughs> right. <laughs> what am I saying? It was yeah. only I'm in, racist. Yeah, it was it, only it, Indian people and Asian people. Okay, like, yeah. from Dallas, and then Will and Don, Yankee in the South, Bert Kreischer, sure. right, 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 people, and then sure. us. Yeah, the good normal people <laughs> <laughs> who are better than all these other people, even though we were on the cruise. Mm. <laughs> he starts making everybody with a turban sit in one corner of the room and he goes, I got my eye on you guys. I got one eye on Fuck you. Fuck yeah. Oh my God. Uh, basically saying that they're I get it. They're terrorists. Even though Devin, it's, just, it's I like I don't think you get it. I don't think I got it. It's but, like Indian it's like right. Nepalese people. But it's, did he have his shirt off? <laughs> <laughs> he never, and that's what really separates the greats from, you know, the almost greats. Yeah. Is whether or not you got the balls. 
it to is, take the shirt it's off. It's a thin, thin line. Thin line between genius and good. Yeah, you mm-hmm. know, as I always say. But uh, he, I don't know if I've ever seen a comic destroy as hard as he did. Of course, and it right. was Dude, just he, race, racist race quote unquote yeah. material we everyone were, was down for it we were it. laughing probably for like the wrong like we didn't think it was great but we were i was literally i was at one point i was on all like my hands and knees on <laughs> yeah, the floor you're laughing at the fact that it's like this is happening right now mm-hmm. and it's like it's a, it's allowed in a weird way because we're like in we're in like lawless waters yeah. or something yeah we're or international waters we're 95 yeah. miles from shore you know there's nothing yeah. there's no one coming to see if you want to go do like asian like racism <laughs> jokes you got to be like in the middle of the ocean mm-hmm. <laughs> like <laughs> Did you see that guy, by the way? It was like a guy in Texas who they were all... It was like a high school senior trip. This just happened. They were on a cruise. And this kid, like, on a dare, jumped out of the I cruise I saw that. Boat. He's, like, dead. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, he's dead now. No. They he, just called off the search. But it's so funny in the video because it's just, like, fucking 18-year-olds. Yep. Video. Can we watch the video? Or? I mean, yeah, it's on Twitter. They if you throw want to Should I pull it up? They, he does die. Oh, okay. Sure. They throw him like, a life thing, but he doesn't go to it. Right. But you see him jump in the water, and then it's just... You hear, like, bro, he in the water right now. Yeah, like, no <laughs> one's taking it seriously. They're literally on a cruise ship, and they're <laughs> passing him by. He's alone right. in the ocean. He's it's just, It's the night. By the way, it's night. Is yeah. he hammered? I, I'm assuming. He Who probably knows? did it as like a prank or something. And right. it, no, nobody understands like pranks. Don't. It's not like a get out of jail free pass. Right. Does he not? If get, the prank's sh- going bad, you can't be like, all right, it's a prank. It's though. a prank. And then though, you're just like, on the boat. Yeah. yeah. Does he not get? He jumped into the middle of nowhere in the ocean. Nothing's real to anybody. That's what I'm saying. It's like no one's see, living in you reality. You see people be like, "Oh, dude, he's swimming. Oh shit, he getting yeah. far away." <laughs> oh, like, wait, I can't see him. <laughs> oh shit. You see like 3,000 future dumbasses be like, "Oh, he's fucking dead." Mm. Oh uh, man, they're like, "Man, I feel like I'm floating right now." <laughs> Damn, this got me fucked up like that one time at Astro World. Damn, like fuck. Yo, he drowning and shit. Yeah, they're like, "Dude, play Play Tentation for him. <laughs> In memory. Yeah. In memory. In memory. Yeah. Yeah. And then the next mm. guy went up and he was, I don't remember his name. He was terrible. He was like a that type of guy where he's just like, I got a Wi Fi, Wi Fi hate. Just complete fucking. Oh, you're back to the comic. I thought back another guy comic. jumped off the ship. No, oh, no, okay. no, no, sorry, no. sorry. I wish, but that's the end of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That guy's just at the bottom of the ocean now, and he's getting eaten by. Oh shrimp. yeah, and that first comic, he was he was killing so hard that the room was getting hot. It's like uh, when sperm whales, like they're so loud with their bleeding and their sounds and stuff, where like your body's vibrating. Yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna compare. It to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the universal analogies. Yeah, that's been, a great analogy. Ben. We were vibrating. Like I, how sperm whales <laughs> vibrate. Well, everyone knows that. We've covered it on the like show. Like a red breast. Now, <laughs> peck belly. No, act like, don't act like they're no. a bunch of uh, the machine fans. Act like they're damn lemon party they're fans. They're lemon party fans. Right. They're, Every, man, uh, they're men of intelligence. That's true. That's everyone true. watching the pod is also reading Herman Melville right now. <laughs> 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 You're reading Moby Dick right now, aren't you? I already read uh, okay. Moby Dick. Well, you know. Moved them. Was that one four brag. books ago. But then I remember we we docked the cruise. It was like one of those cruises to Mexico. Yeah. And we got off the dock and they're like, all right, go Mexico, 12 hours. And I saw just the fast people I've ever seen walk into Mexico straight into a Taco Bell that was by the dock. <laughs> and then they just say Taco Bell and they're like, like literally like, oh, it's nice to get some authentic cuisine. <laughs> it's like going to Japan and be like, where's the Yoshinoya? <laughs> Literally, that's, that's literally exactly the Jace, same thing. I think uh, after though they did walk across the street to a senior frogs <laughs> and get fucked up. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, yeah. Other than that, I mean, it would be funny. Like, imagine like going to the Amazon. You go to Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> imagine being that retarded. Yeah, it kind of rules, honestly. I kind of appreciate that in a weird way. Yeah. Blue Chew Guys. It's that time of the year. To it's take time you- for Blue Chew Guys. It's that time of the day. When it's, it's the time to take Blue Chew and be guys. Mm-hmm. All day, every day. Mm-hmm. Rock all hard. natural men taking Blue Chew. Rock hard all day. This episode's sponsored by Blue Chew. Whoa. Really? Yeah. That's weird because I'm already using them. Yeah, yeah. I use them all the time. I didn't even know we were sponsored by mm-hmm. them. I've used them for literally like five years. So. Yeah. Yeah. I... I use it as a marinade. Mm -hmm. Did you know summer's around the corner? I didn't know that. Is it? Well, do you want to bring up the heat in the bedroom? Uh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Another. 
Duh. Duh. Hey, newsflash to Ben. Yes. <laughs> newsflash, Ben. Um, uh, I'm wearing a shirt that says uh, uh, sarcasm loading. <laughs> <laughs> it, 60, taking, it says 69 percent yeah 69 yeah, percent mm-hmm. sick mm. sorry my personality is buffering <laughs> uh now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed listen up bluechew.com Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra. <laughs> Viagra. 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 What I said. Well, like you're Italian. Viagra. <laughs> I take the Viagra so I can fuck my wife. Viagra. You guys don't get that at Buca de Beppo? <laughs> yeah. That's what I order yeah. when I go. Can I get the Viagra de Pepe? Uh-huh. Uh, you order the Caca de Pepe is mm-hmm. what you call it. That's yeah, right. and they're uh, the the cheese. Mm-hmm. The cheese. It's just a bunch of uh, it's a bunch of blue chew. That's right. They have a big blue chew that a big through a block. cheese grater. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're great. Tell me when. <laughs> and you uh, go, buddy. You start grating your fingers before I tell you when. <laughs> I'm smoking a cigar. I'm smoking a cigar. In Buca de Beppo. Big red face. You're like, I needed my car to get rock hard. <laughs> To fuck my wife's girlfriend. That tonight. would rock to go to Buga de Beppo and act like an old timey mobster. We like sit at your table. <laughs> we can do that after we record the Patreon. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah. Corner booth. Yeah. <laughs> this is Adi Buko's place. I like Buca de Beppo. I like to keep an eye on the door. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, put it on my tab. Already knows I'm good for it. Done. Put it on my tab. It's just the guy, the new manager this month. <laughs> Well, this stuff's in chewable tablets, and it's at a fraction of the cost. Whoa, I like that. What the hell? That sounds like something you got to jump on. Don't be crass. Watch the language. <laughs> what the Jack? hell? Jack? Jesus. What the, what the heck? Jesus Crow. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Jesus Crow. <laughs> Jesus Crow. Defo- <laughs> defeats the entire purpose mm-hmm. of censoring yourself. Yeah, dude. Jesus, Jesus heckin' Christ. <laughs> Uh, you can take them anywhere, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, <laughs> and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Why don't you turn to Steve Brule right there? <laughs> Let's press online. <laughs> Jace, please, I'm trying to get through oh, this. Oh, sorry, my apologies. Please. I'm trying to be professional. Please. My apologies. Please. Blue juice tablets are made in the USA. <laughs> <laughs> they are made in the USA, though, and they're prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. That's the best part. Does it work? <laughs> Don't think you need it? Try it for free a month. Oh, wow. I, I stumbled over that because it's such a good deal. You can try it free for a month and see. You're going to love it. That's crazy. What a deal. No, no, else. Another, no other place gives you a fucking sample. You could be missing out on the best sex of your life. With Blue Chew, men everywhere are excited to see the postman because when your package has arrived, your package has arrived. They always say first impressions are important. What about lasting? What about lasting impressions? They say there's nothing sexier than confidence, and Blue Chew can help give you confidence where it counts. They want to. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. We've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use the promo code LEMON at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com. Promo code LEMON to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Thank you, Blue Chew. Thank you, Blue Chew. I will say, like, I do want to go to China, but... I don't. It, well, I know you don't. China, I'm like, cultured. I don't know. It's just not fun looking at all. I'd yeah. like to go to little, like Tokyo, you know, because of the ads and all that shit, like sure. Lost in Translation. Sure. Yeah. No, no. J- Japan would be way Japan cooler. Japan seems way cooler. I love Chinese food, though. I'm a Chinese food guy. But you know ch- that about me. Yeah, but that's... Comida China. You I've been learning Spanish. You don't want their... <laughs> what did you just say? Comida China. Did you say Chinese food in Spanish? I did, yeah. <laughs> comida well, China. for all of our... I'm trying to pick up Spanish oh, listeners. Oh, good. Yeah, we should yeah. get more of them. Right. Uh, comida China. Me gusta uh, comida China. Yeah, Mary Chona. We should get more Spanish-speaking <laughs> listeners. No, we should. Our airbrush shirts would, like, fly <laughs> off the fucking shelf. <laughs> 
<laughs> there's, a, there's a big market for that. There's a big, big market for that, Jerry. <laughs> they love memorials. <laughs> We just sell a bunch of dead cousin t-shirts. Yeah, yeah. We're selling, we're selling Selena <laughs> yeah, shirts. Rest in peace, Eduardo. Like, oh, this shit, is one of we our sold, top sellers. We sold 4,000 of these this week. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, what were you saying about uh, the country of China or the country of Japan? China. China. It just seems... Uh, Japan seems fun. Yeah, Japan, China seems I would love to live hard Japan. and unfun. And also, you're not going to like their Chinese food. It's all fucking like, so, all, like too authentic. Devin, we're on the same. Okay, all right. It's okay. like if, if life was radio, we're like on the same frequency, brother. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> that's just a longer way of saying we're on the same frequency. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're on the same frequency. But like, that's what that saying comes from, and a lot of people don't know yeah. that. Yeah. If like we, uh, like if, if we, my brain was a radio and your brain was like another radio thing. And we both had antennas yeah. that you couldn't see. If we were reading a book, we'd be on the same page, <laughs> right. if like, you will. Like, like, but separate books, same book. Like, separate book, but same book, if you will. Like if I, if I was on 102.7 The Eagle, you'd be like also on 102.7 The Eagle, <laughs> the only station that plays classic rocks. <laughs> These are the, the guys that talk while rubbing their hands together, like this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just outside of a pawn yeah, shop. Yeah, just looking at some fucking clothes at a fuck Forever Twenty One mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. The guys who steal stuff by looking sneaky. Yeah, beforehand. yeah, the sneaky look. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I wonder if you've been able to see my dick the whole time. Whatever. Right. That's why you think you're a gay guy, dumbass. Now? This is what I get yeah. for uh, dressing up like uh, Michael Keaton and Jackie Brown. But uh, he's, he's, <laughs> you kind of do that. Sometimes yeah. I like wearing a white shirt and blue jeans, and I go Michael Keaton and Jackie Brown. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny. Great I saw film. I saw that look, and then I tried it for a second. I was like, ah, too fat to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do it. Just look like Bill Parcells. Uh, well, I'm gonna go kill myself. Uh, I had I did a bang bang at uh, the airport when I went home to visit my family at LAX. Yeah. Did you do a Cinnabon? Because the better call salt. There was no Cinnabon, but damn. But our sister made homemade cinnamon rolls for me with sourdough bread, which were really good. That's I had very nice. three really big ones, and uh, I just after I ate them, I like uh, I came to and I was holding an AR-15 and I was just shooting wildly into a field nice. behind their uh, but how are trailer you gonna, home. Here's what I want to know: If you go to China, how are you going to get the Chinese food you want? They don't have like General Sows. So. Like you ever go to a Chinese place and it's like way too Chinese, like it's like super Asian. Like mm-hmm. there, there's things on the menu where it's like they just name it how bad. Like it's called like bad tasting beef. Yeah, yeah. Or like cold deadly fungus mm-hmm. tofu. Right. Mm-hmm. You get the soup from like Galaxy Quest. Yeah, where it has like bugs in it and it's shit. Just you, you have no idea what you're eating. Mm. You know, it, it's pee pee puffs. <laughs> <laughs> we roll up pee pee into, into a little ball somehow. Yeah, this is bad breath <laughs> soup. <laughs> I was going to say, though, I was at the airport, and I did a classic bang bang, and it was really good, actually. What was it? There's there's a chick fl- in the Southwest, and I'm not ashamed to say I, I fly Southwest. I got a lot of points with them. I, they're, they're solid airlines. And I like Southwest. <laughs> I like People Southwest, too, yeah. But in the Southwest Terminal of LAX, there was a Pan Express next to a Chick-fil-A, and I got a spicy deluxe ch- chicken mm-hmm. uh, sp- uh, sandwich yes. with the fries and all the... Yeah, Coke Zero, mm-hmm. and then I went over and to Panic ex, uh, Panic Express. Did you get any tranny salmon from Chick Fil A? <laughs> <laughs> Very good yeah. call. He tried. Right? He goes, "Can I get um?" So I know about the secret menu with the tranny <laughs> semen on it in the frozen lemonade. Yeah, in the weird, frozen lemonade. Weird. He said that too. By the way, the frozen li- tranny semen in the That's frozen what, lemonade. You don't you don't say that unless you've tasted tranny semen <laughs> yeah. in a frozen yes. drink of some kind, like mm-hmm. when you'd get at a baseball game. Here's how you know it's gay. You're thinking of not only tranny. You have to first think of a trans person's cock. And then you have to think of, yeah. of semen mm-hmm. coming out of it. It's also hilarious. Mm-hmm. It's just a man's semen. You don't even need to distinct like mm-hmm. the tranny part. Yeah, it's just semen that came from a man that's confused. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, there's yeah. no. It's a man's. Cum. Yeah, it's just cum. Just cum. That's what it is. He can just be like, "I is there cum in this one too?" Right. Like he's mad that it's it's a trans person's cum. Yeah. He's, he's like, upset. "I want regular cum." He's like, "Give me a, a nice regular cum." Like he goes, "Hmm." This is a transgender person <laughs> semen. This isn't regular mm, cum. I can taste the estrogen and it's uh, not as good. I can taste the self doubt. <laughs> like he's got, he's got a wine glass full of cum. Yeah, and he's swirling it uh, and then holding it up yeah. to the light. Look, look at the legs. He goes, I'm getting bits of estrogen. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Soft out. <laughs> Bad living situation. Mm. Beautiful. Uh, Those earthy notes that you get in the trans semen. Uh, but I, I had uh, an amazing. I had an amazing dinner with the Panda Express, and I even texted you because I didn't want to fuck my order up. Because Devin, what I love about Devin, by the way, and I'll tell you real quick what I get. I get the half chow mein and uh, the rice, or whatever they call it. There, they might call it lo mein. They call Places it, call it different things. Sure, who knows? But what are you gonna? Do? They call it Chinese spaghetti. <laughs> Some place we went to Noodle World in Alhambra. Excellent place. They have a, a Bob's Big Boy statue and half the two, menu says spaghetti. They have two Bob's Big Boy statues. Mm-hmm. It That's was pretty awesome. Great. It That's was pretty amazing. Great. Really cool. Yeah. And uh, I get the orange chicken. I get the Kung Pao chicken, which wasn't that good. No, the Kung Pao's not good. There's too much celery in it yeah. at Panda Express. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I, I, we'll they really they skimp on they they add the celery to like cut down on the <clears throat> yep. on the chicken. I, on the chicken and the peanuts. Not enough peanuts. I already Panda. told corporate. Okay. I already told corporate. Thank you. I already wrote them a, a nasty email. <laughs> I wrote, I, wrote them, I wrote them a vicious email. <laughs> Dear Panda Express. Yeah, you're breaking every key you hit yeah. as you type. Yeah, breaking my fingers. <laughs> Those people that like review fast food restaurants on Yelp, they're like, this Burger King had less than exemplary staff. <laughs> Me and Jason were talking about that, about like you read Yelp, you like read mm-hmm. reviews for movies and people go, I don't know, there was a lot of action in this movie and I don't really like yeah. action movies. Yeah. So I'm like, I go, then why did you go see John Wick 4? It's amazing. Yeah. Stay home. There's Yelp reviews for everything. There's Yelp reviews for like homeless shelters. They're like, I don't know, a lot of homeless people were there. <laughs> Well, my favorite, I was telling about I've Reviews of things where they describe the thing. The you thing. go, you just don't like that thing. They go, yeah. Don't seek out this type of thing. It's, you yeah. retire. It's my insane. favorite was, I've, I've literally seen it on food places where they're like, three stars, we drove around for a while and couldn't find the place, so <laughs> better luck next time. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like they're rating it back because they're too they retarded. They couldn't find it. Yeah, to uh, eat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You like three stars? I kept missing my mouth with the food. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Try better next time. Food didn't make a great hat, mm. so <laughs> mm. I tried to drink the water. Went down the wrong pipe. I got up from my table and I left. I left. I left before the food even came. I, I choked on my water. I tried to drink the cokes. I accidentally shoved it all up my ass instead. <laughs> Two stars. So you you were. I had Beijing beef. Beijing beef is good. It was just great. It's really good. The orange chicken is obviously great. You I ever do have Panda fries, Express and the guy serving you is like Asian, <laughs> yeah. and you have like a, a split. I always have a there's Mexican a split lady. second thought in your head. Where you're like, this is gonna be like really good Panda Express. Like somehow would, he's I like literally brought, had that. he's brought recipes back from <laughs> Beijing. You're like, oh, so this is like Beijing Beijing beef. Oh my god. Right, like there's a bunch of ducks in the back, yeah. like on strings. But then it's just like a kid named Brandon that goes yeah. to PCC. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's gonna be the guy from Gremlins in the back. <laughs> yeah, just got like Mogwai. Yeah, you just think he like brought his grandmother's walk mm-hmm. to this Panda Express. Yeah. in El Monte. Mm-hmm. He's like, "Hey, what's up? My name's Brian. <laughs> Do you want the Beijing beef?" I'm like, "Nah, I want some of that sweet and sour Mogwai you got in the back." <laughs> He's like, "I don't know, but I grew up in Montrose. <laughs> <laughs> Whole family's from Montrose." So what, why'd you text me? You asked me so, like about a secret order. Because I, I panicked for a second and I didn't know if I was going to fuck up the order because I, I wanted to time everything right with because Katie was getting me the Chick-fil-A. I was getting the Pan Express. I wanted it's like making two planets align at the same time. You yeah. want it to you want it to go off without a hitch because if something goes wrong, not only are you going to feel like a fat ass and a retard, you're also just going to feel bad. You're going to feel physically bad because you have to how you're ordering over there is uh, it has to sync up with how you're ordering over here yeah one can't be cold and one can't be hot you're gonna fuck your stomach up it has to be seamless right that's how you fuck your stomach up <laughs> that's right <laughs> not eating panda express mm-hmm. at chick-fil-a yeah no it has nothing yeah. to do with me eating seven thousand calories at the airport no, no, no. it's literally like the buy bi- the microbes in your belly being like okay we've seen the panda express <laughs> Where's the Chick Fil A, dude? <laughs> yeah, your gut biomes like, all right, what's going on, man? Where's the Chick Fil A sauce? Dude? We need some probiotics, dude. If we, if we don't get Chick Fil A sauce, we're about to start making diarrhea right now. I started dipping some of the Pan Express in the Chick, like wow. in my Chick Fil A condiments. Wow, you dirty dog! Isn't that crazy? Wow. You, you sick son of a bitch! You're fucking wild. You're a risk taker. And by the way, I don't even think you can get Coke Zero at Pan Express. So I mean, I think I just no, elevated they're, the they're, whole game. They're a Pepsi company. That's what I thought. They do Pepsi. So. Yeah. 
And that's what I do when I go to Panda Express. I go across the street to Chipotle. I get a Coke Zero. Then I go to Panda Express. <laughs> <laughs> I used to live off Panda Express and Chipotle. I know you did. When I was at, going to your place all the time. And this is, literally once one meal a day, I'd get a big thing. So this is why I texted you in line when I was at the airport. Because I know Devin. And the yeah. folks, this, this payoff's going to be worth it. Because Devin has some tips and tricks like you've never seen when it comes to saving money. Devin was also ordering very poor. So he's really stretching his yes, box. Yes, you stretch it. You need to use these places they're corporations there's no bottom line nobody cares it's all complete bullshit use it up panda mm-hmm. express not many tricks don't really have a trick for you there uh if you're on keto you can get away with it even though the sauce and a lot of the, the food you get will have like sugar in it it's probably not enough to knock you out you can get all mixed vegetables instead of the chow mein mm-hmm. smother those mixed vegetables in soy sauce they're inedible without the soy sauce you need to have you know massive amounts of sodium <laughs> Possibly give yourself a stroke at some point, but like you're on keto. So if you're on all, keto, you're fine. You're fine. It's keto, it's fine. It's yeah, be fine. You're losing weight, your bones hurt all the time, you're fine. Your cholesterol's through the roof, who gives a shit? You're eating, uh, you know, butter sticks wrapped in bacon. It's mm. keto, baby. You need the fat to live off of it. Mm. So, yeah, you got a four pack, you can hear your heartbeat. You're fine. <laughs> yep. So, at Panda, there's not many tricks you can do. I only recommend if you're trying to, if you're on like a, a poor person diet, you can get the mixed vegetables and then get like the food that doesn't have carbs in it. But it's still you can mix all the sauce, the saucy sauces. You know, I'm yes, really, yes, big, I'm yes. a big, I'm a big saucy meats guy. But by the way, they're giving out, which I this was crazy to me. They're giving out hot mustard in the little packets now. So definitely take some of those with you. Definitely do that. And a sweet and sour sauce in packets too. They don't charge you mm-hmm. for it, which I think they used to do. They might have. They might, you know what? They got my email. So, <laughs> Chipotle though is for the people. Yeah. Chipotle is. Can I can I ask you real quick? Go ahead. Do you do bowl tortillas on the side? A hundred and ten percent. That is what Chase. you do. You get the most basic bowl. Yep. Most basic bowl. None of the add-ons. None of the queso. Mm-hmm. Guac. If you're really feeling it. If you're feeling if it. If you're like very hungry. If you had a good week. You get three tortillas on the side for a dollar extra. You can get one for free. One for free. So you can get a bowl. You go up there. You get. You get. You go. Yeah. Rice or beans. Here's the thing. You can get extra food. Make it a salad. Mm-hmm. Go, I want a salad. I go extra lettuce. So you get some lettuce. You feel like it like tricks your brain like a placebo. Like oh, I'm being healthy. Mm-hmm. Then you get rice and beans. Extra. Always extra. Yes. You could get extra. They don't charge for anything. Plus, rice and beans, very filling. Very, very filling. filling. Very, very Tons filling. Tons of fiber. Extra meat, is they charge? No, they charge for extra meat. They do but charge for extra meat. here's what you do. Here's what you do when you get to the meat. So you get extra rice, extra beans, and even if you don't like it, you can go, can you give me a little more? <laughs> it's just some high school kid. Yeah. You know? If it's beans and rice, you can shake them down. You can shake them more. down. Like, yeah. I literally have had like- So you guys like bullying employees. Yeah. I bullied employees. I'm like, just, I don't move. I'm like, no, no, no I just, please more. <laughs> right. Now. You, you literally be like, all right, bring it back. Bring it back. Bring okay, it back. Now, I need you do that one more time. You're going to go, beep, 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 <laughs> bring it back. Nope. <laughs> We're not done with the beans. So here's the thing. Then you get to the meat. Oh, by the way, you can get fajitas for free. You yes. have them. Go, and the fajitas are pretty good. Fajitas are damn good. Yeah. You get, give me get fajitas too, because they always they act like you, you can't see it because it's the closest to the to the what guard. Do you mean? I don't. There's the there's the, the fajita, bell like peppers and bell onions peppers and stuff. And yeah, yeah. They don't expect people to know about that shit because mm-hmm. nobody gets. Because nobody gets it. I go. I'll take it. It's it's fucking free food. It's one price on the menu. <laughs> I'll be taking everything available, okay? I went to a Blaze Pizza. Blaze Pizza is the same thing. I was like, wait, it's one pizza is the same price? I got every topping they mm. had on it. It was like a cake. It was inedible. It was horrible. But I stole all their food for the same price. <laughs> okay? So, so you really, you have to order like you're robbing a bank. Yes, yeah. you go, Devin, wow, you guys allow this? And then take advantage. <laughs> Devin's ordering at places and they're getting like ne- like alarms are going off yeah. at their corporate Devin headquarters. Devin threw them a big <laughs> fucking white bag. No, like they, a big burlap like, bag. No idea what I'm doing. I'm at like I was at like a Blaze Pizza. I'm like, yeah, yeah. The, 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 every topping, like it makes no sense. It was ho- disgusting mm-hmm. food, but it was mm-hmm. stacked sky high, and it was the same price as the dumbass behind me that just got Love pepperoni. That. He only got one topping. This is food we're talking about. This is sustenance, mm-hmm. okay? And in this economy, you gotta you, you you deserve more. Right. You use people up. You use them up. So Chipotle. Once you get to the protein. So true, man. Once you get to the protein. Here's the thing. A lot, of, a lot of these scumbags, sometimes you'll get like a jaded fuck and it's just like they just pour like a huge spoonful of your chicken on it or whatever. But chicken's cheaper than steak. But get And if you get half and half, some, so you go, you go, 
let me get chicken. They pour you a full scoop of chicken. No and then you way. Go, and then you go, and you act like you're still speaking. Yes. I've literally, I've literally done this before. You act like you're not done with yes. your words. Yes. And you go, and half stink. And they'll so look then, at you and they'll be like, dude, I'm going to get fired. Like, I don't want to say anything. And I go. I just stare them down. I, go, right. I said, and have steak. Because they have to commit to the full pour. Because now they've already committed to the full pour. Mm-hmm. Right. So then you get half and half, and it's only like like 50 cents more for the steak. The steak's like 9 you 10, the chicken's you, like 8 65. You literally go, I got you with your pants down, asshole. Yep. Guys, real quick, time, time out. I'm calling a T right here. Time yeah, yeah. out. What do you do if they. You got a guy who takes the meat back. Sometimes off. they've done that. I, I haven't. I haven't caused the fuss yet. But <laughs> you're working. You're working. You're like, you I'm show working my way up. You pull up your. You show a gun. I kind of. I, I just kind of. Yeah. I show them a pistol. You show them the handle of a pistol. Right. But he doesn't. He doesn't explicitly. He just goes. Uh, and then they see a gun. But it, it, it's worked for me almost every time. Occasionally they've been like, oh, but I gotta like they'll 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 say something and be like, I can't like. So they'll yeah, take but then a little you know that, that's a cocksucker you avoid. But then next I know time. not coming to this Chipotle anymore. Uh, the city of industry. So this is the thing. You're out. You have to memorize their shifts. Yes. Mm-hmm. So honestly, the best Chipotles to go to Chipotle's in like very busy areas, like Times Square, shit mm-hmm. like that, where it's just a free for all. It's just like a fucking. It's a cage match every mm-hmm. night. Mm-hmm. You know. You go to those, the one in K Town. The people on serving a, just, sure. they're all just jaded as hell. They don't give a fuck. The one by the bus br- yeah. bus route in K Town. It's yeah, just yeah. a high school. Chipotle's just a high school. You yeah, go to yeah. Chipotle, oh, a bunch of high school kids, they're all fucking each other and shit. I kind of get like jealous. Like mm-hmm. I hear them talk. I'm like, man, they're probably have such good parties and stuff. They're like young lunch ladies. They are. Mm-hmm. And, and, and it's a beautiful thing to take advantage of them at such a ripe age. Do you, by the way, when they're circling, because they all circle and then take someone and carry people down, that's how it works, right? They don't have stations. No, no. Everyone's like always helping. That, that's shit, what I mean. Taking so, over. So yeah. when someone, the best is when you get a, a cook so, but that you, comes up and starts serving you, and he's like, "I haven't been trained to not giving saying. you enough." You're a predator. They're the prey. I'm a predator. You're trying to pick out the weakest in the pack when you get there. Yeah. Now, if the guy steps forward, that's the alpha. You go, nah, nah, nah you guys no. still decide. You go ahead. You let the I'm next a, guy go ahead. Yeah. And then the little Mexican lady pulls up. Do you do this? It. Yeah. 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 I do everything you've said. Mm. <laughs> Like I've been doing it for about a decade. Mm-hmm. Now. It's this yeah. weird fucked up game you're playing with. I like God, I love it Devin, so much. I Devin, love it. I've seen Devin do it. He almost walks in like it's like the Sting. Like Devin walks in in a big suit, yeah. and it's like na 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 na. Oh man! So we this just, is great. We're at the protein, right? So I go chicken, and then they start pouring the full thing, and then I go, and then I go, yeah, and half steak. And then they give it, so you get double, you get like a ton of meat, mm-hmm. and you only paid like 40 cents extra for the steak, which I've, is by I've the way, done, always chewy. I've done this with double meat, by the way, because I don't like to mix the meats. I've done, I've done, give me steak, and then they do the whole thing, and then I go, actually double steak, and then they have to then give they the do the same two exact, full, yeah. two full exactly. scoops of steak. That so, doesn't make sense, because then when they... It's could, all about that spoon. It's all about it's the time. They have to stick with the spoon. G- they don't want to look lame and start like hitting yeah. meat off of your bowl. Because they, because mm. if the, you do double steak, they're like, okay, and then they start like shaking bits of meat yeah, out of the spoon. Yeah, they shake it out of the spoon. Before they put it in. Yeah. Mm. But if you do, they just dump it and then you're like, give me twice that fucking shit. Because they always think that portion's up. They always, yeah. they think they're dealing with a rube. And they thought, <laughs> and here's the thing, I'm taking advantage of their kindness because they were trying to give me a couple extra cubes. Exactly. And I go, give me double. Oh, and I go, give it a double, it. bitch. Now. I own you. Yep. And you go, woo. It's all about cucking them. You cuck them. It truly. So then it's you a mind cuck game. Them. So then you move. You have, you have to be a killer. This is like the poor. This is the finale of succession. Yeah, this is. they go to Chipotle. Yeah, this is bankrupt Logan Roy. He's like, you have to, son, you have to right. be a killer. You never had it in you to get double yeah. steak. I'm at like Chipotle. I'm like, you're unserious people. What kind of, what kind of shit fuck, you pig don't fuck eat, factory You don't even at? steal the Tabasco Chipotle. Yeah. You put that in your jacket pocket you go out the door <laughs> and then you steal the chipotle hot sauce <laughs> you do steal a couple bottles you always steal the, the bottles out. you yeah. always steal the bottles because uh, who gives a fuck <laughs> it's um, such an easy steal it's by the, the way oh, yeah. you got the whole bag you just walk through the thing and you're like ooh in yeah. the cup and then <laughs> bloop <laughs> Bloop. Almost everything there is free. So <laughs> yeah, no, I think if we let, get the word out enough, I think we can fucking bankrupt them. When you Throw go to by McDonald's, when you go to Chipotle, you really like when you pay that eight dollars for your bowl. It's really just for like the electricity in the place. Mm-hmm. You're just you kind of have to look at it like, well, it wouldn't be open if it wasn't for that eight bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. other than that, like I'm stealing from you. It's highway robbery. But they've gotten a little more expensive lately. But here, here what you here's what here's what you do. Then when you get down to you get corn, you get everything you can. Of course, you get all the things. 
pico de gallo. You get all three salsas too because <laughs> it's available. Mm-hmm. You get the corn, you get the red, you get the what's the other one? Pico de gallo. The pico de gallo. You get the mild. I always go mild. Got to get the mild as well. Then you get um. Then you get you always get guac. Here's the thing. Want to know why? You might be out a couple bucks, but half the time they don't. They're so busy mm-hmm. they forget to market a G. And the person checking you out really? doesn't charge you for the guac. Yeah, that happens almost all the time with me. <laughs> um, mm. And uh, then you get even more lettuce on the top, so it's like real stuffed, you know? Yeah, they're literally like closing it like it's a two full. Yeah. Like, they have to like they're bounce upset. on it. And yeah. they're looking around at all their employees like, I'm sorry. Like, I know I'm getting fired. Like, they look around <laughs> and you know that you're the bull mm-hmm. that ruined this guy's job. Yes. And I don't care. That's beautiful. Because it's a corporation. <laughs> and, and, but we uh, love corporations. I text you about this all the time. No, I know. I love them because I use them up. We love mm-hmm. them. I use them up. No, I because we're parasites. We're parasites. I, 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 I like shower at Starbucks. Like, I'll do anything there. <laughs> I walk in there. I got like, I, I have like flip. I have like my like slippers on. Mm-hmm. I get, give me a water. I'm going to use your Wi-Fi all fucking day. <laughs> You have no idea what you're dealing with. Mm-hmm. There's buying, no I'm way to get out of here. 35 cent coffee and I'm here all day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to buy one of your burn coffees. I'm going to ask for free refills all fucking day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I see an order not being claimed, that's my order now. Yep. And, and I'm going to do that all day. And I do that all the time. I've literally like pulled up. I've been on the way here before uh-huh. and I'm like, fuck, I want a coffee. I pull into a Starbucks. I just walk up to the counter and I just grab a drink and, and get in my car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I literally don't care. It's all fake. Once they opened up, because all these places care about the delivery orders more than you in person so i'm like oh you don't respect me i'm here i'm here well what did we go to fat sal's the other week it was it's all great. delivery orders they it's don't really even care good. about the people there yeah mm-hmm. so use it up baby mm-hmm. they, they're 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 one using of, something they're what, i mean you of, use them one of my greatest moments it doesn't have anything to do with my just it was dumb luck it was we were grieving your friend who passed yeah i was there all day i ordered just a simple chipotle bowl tortillas on the side you guys have already eaten the guy, the guy brings me the the Postmates guy brings me the wrong order. So I open up, it's five bowls. Oh, that's wow. right. I forgot. I about go that. through. I go through. I pick the best one, the one that doesn't suck, mm-hmm. and then I eat that. And then I, I come up. I go, hey guys, got everybody at Chipotle. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I am just passing it out. I go, they're just random and the ingredients on this. It says like Stacy A on the thing. I had no idea. Yeah, I thought you, guys you bought us all Chipotle. You guys were so fucked up. And then I went into the app. I go, uh, wrong order, free meal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Woo! Yes. I love it. One for the little guy. I love fucking the system And that's how we up. win. And hold on. I'm not finished yet. Oh, wow. So then Jesus. you get to the end and it's done. They're wrapping it and you go, and I'll take a tortilla. <laughs> And Throw that, is that free? That. If you get a bowl, you're always owed a tortilla. Mm-hmm. Really? And no one knows this. So you have them, and then you get the salad dressing too. Because even they, if they knows, make maybe, you pay, it's thirty five cents. Thirty five cents. They don't make. Uh, maybe they do now. It was always on free the before. on the app. They make you pay. That, that, They're that, gonna that, get you. With that's that. that app bullshit. And yeah. I don't use the apps because I you can't watch them. <laughs> I watch them when I'm there. I like to. I like to really instill like fear mm-hmm. in them when I'm like I'm like leaning over. I'm like, yeah, that's enough. Mm-hmm. That's enough meat. So you get the tortilla, so then you get home, right? You make yourself your own burrito. Yes. So you get two oh meals for the God. price of one. Dude, you literally do. It's it's lunch and dinner. It's lunch and dinner. So you pour half your bowl in the burrito, <laughs> mm-hmm. wrap it up. Yes. You have a Chipotle burrito. Yeah, yeah you great. got a burrito. You pull chips from your fucking um, pantry. Mm-hmm. You go grab a, a Diet Coke out of your fridge. You've got an entire Chipotle meal yep. for that. And then, hey, dinner comes around. Chips, Diet Coke again. Whole other Chipotle Whole other meal. half bowl. Yes. Whole other half bowl, buddy. Did Which they, is basically like a full bowl because you fuck them over so much. Because there's much. so much rice and beans in it and there's so much protein <laughs> in it. It's a full bowl. You move it. All you got to do is like hit the side of it and, and even it out over the bowl. And you're like, this is like a brand new burrito bowl. Mm-hmm. It's unbelievable. Literally. And, and then, then you then, throw the bag right next to all the 18 other bags you yeah. have. Because that's all you've eaten for a month. <laughs> and then you, of course, you get a water cup and you get soda and you fucking just walk out. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Every <laughs> time. You, you just take, like, And then I take a shit and I don't flush. <laughs> I take a shit right at the counter. You take, take, take. Mm-hmm. These things oh, are... Oh, the, the, the forks are... Ma- I grab in a fistful of forks I grab all the I'm forks. There. You know what? Chipotle bowls actually don't taste that good when you use like a real fork. You need to use... You the, need a plastic fork. But a very thick plastic black fork yep, that I love. it has so, to be a thick and plastic... And I'll, I'll put it in my silverware drawer and I'll use it for other meals. Yep. Because it makes food taste Jace better. Jace gets it. I mean, Jace gets it. You'll, you're catching up. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. I'll get there. You'll get there. And there's other places I've yet to figure this out at, but like I know Sweet Greens, if there's a Sweet Green in your neighborhood, go to Sweet Green. They put all the to-go... Uh, uh, 
uh, they're all shitty. Yeah, it's all on a it's on all a shitty salads, cabinet. but they're all in cabinets. You just go up, look at your phone, pretend you're looking at your phone, just grab one and go. Boom, done. Let's get these places out of here. They don't deserve to exist. Their food sucks. They're robbing everybody. They're charging seventeen dollars for lettuce. Uh huh. Steal, steal, steal. I, I got a lady actually got on me at Whole Foods the other day. I go to the self checkout all the time. I get half off all the time. I go, you scan one, one goes in. Scan one, one goes in with that yeah, scan. One for you, one for me. One for you, one for me. And this this is old lady there, like who cares about her job this time? <laughs> yeah. And she was like watching me, and she like came up and like made a thing about it. And then I was like, I just stood there retarded. And I was uh, like, oh, I don't know. And I was like, Hey, look, it doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> you pretended to be a help. I pretended retard. to be help. I just stood. There. I'm like, because like also at the same time, like they're not gonna get on somebody that has like intense mental illness. Sure. Mm-hmm. So I, then you just pretend to be like retarded. You feign a brain injury. You feign some weird shit. Mm-hmm. You pull a vape out of your pocket. You hear you go, I can't get the one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can I have the food, please? Like You're doing like the Special Olympics thing so you can compete and win medals, but it's just to get free groceries yeah. or free Chipotle I d- bowls. I, I Going wanna, there with a helmet on. I didn't want to target. Guard. I'm too much of a pussy to pull off the self-checkout because I've been caught before and I really didn't like that. Yeah, it made me feel bad, but I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> you really got to You got to work through it. It's like a real it's like getting the yips in golf or something. Yeah. You have to work through you it. You guys have to go to Tony Soprano's therapy. Mm-hmm. To, to, yeah, to, I, but I was a target. This was fucking last week. I check out a Target. It's like forty five dollars. Target's much easier. Target's yeah. much easier. It's like what are you $45. doing at Target, by the way? Target. I'm doing a lot of. I'm doing a lot of like uh, this one. I was just getting like basics, like oats, fucking lettuce for shakes and stuff. <laughs> nice. Lots of chicken, lots of rice, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't eat it. I don't cook any of it, but I buy <laughs> oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah. it goes bad. And you throw it and you go, hey, I'm a member of society. <laughs> I go, hey, and then I look at my Postmates bill. I'm like five thousand dollars. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, but I. <laughs> I've been getting pretty good. I've been getting pretty good about cooking. Um, but I, I check out the whole thing, and it's like $45. I'm like, whoa, what a steal. What a steal. And then I get to my car. I realize I, for, I on my bottom rack. The bottom rack's where you steal at a Target. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I forgot to do two things of Coke Zero and $25 worth of chicken. So I basically stole like yeah. wow. $40 worth of food from Target. Did you go back even in? realizing it. No, of course I didn't fucking go back in. <laughs> no. I'm no. Scott, what, am I going to break out of prison and walk through the front door? Yeah, exactly. Here's the thing, though, Jace. Always think about maximizing your the quality <laughs> of your goods that you're taking. Mm-hmm. So I would try the Whole Foods because Whole Foods is trying to be really liberal and they're trying to like just have this like honest, yeah. you know. If like, anybody has a no chase policy, it's a Whole Foods. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like that's why the self checkout's just like it's a free for all to me. I'm just standing around a bunch of guys with like fucking Zorro hats on and like, you know, they're wearing like fucking the shoes that like nobody ever would want to wear. Mm-hmm. But like when you're an adult, you wear like, you know, they're wearing clothes clogs that, or that whatever. actual tough guys wore 50 to 200 yeah. years ago. Yeah. It's just some guy that plays the banjo and like does fucking graphic design. And, and they're no everyone's like, we're all in this together. And I'm just standing there like, you have no idea. <laughs> You have no idea how much I'm taking for you. How much I'm taking. I like sometimes I get a rush. I just like to put it in my pockets. Mm-hmm. You can go buy. You can go steal like eighty dollar vitamins from Whole Foods. There's vitamins for eighty bucks. It's the smallest thing you're stealing. Mm-hmm. No one knows. It's why not? It, everything's done. Like we're done. Yeah, yeah. We, we right literally are it. done. Mm-hmm. It's all over. So hey, we're, we're done in the other episode. I don't too. give a shit. Wow, these guys suck. By the way. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> yeah, cringe fags. <laughs> hey, Emma. Hey, Emma. I am a bug. She's still alive. Hey, babe. Oh, uh, we should probably, t- before we get out of here, we should finish this. Uh, oh, right. This, yeah. this trailer. trailer. Don't um, suck. Um, yeah, suck the rest of this abortion out real quick <laughs> okay, before we, we end it. <laughs> All right. Let me rewind that, it real quick. I saw you in the back. Oh, yeah, I was the guy who left. Thank you for that. You ever needed an opener? What's up? I have a commitment for you to open up the brand new Russell Peters special. You tell the whole same Jimmy Schubert story. Yeah, the whole. All right. <laughs> if you take me, God, this feels like so long ago. Expense. What do you say? All right. Guy has a friggin' coffin. It's a good guy, and you can learn a thing or two. Like what? How to hang upside down? Welcome to East Bum. So he's a zip code. Matt Rife is a vampire. An actual mythological vampire. An actual one. Yeah. Oh, he's a real vampire? Yeah. And he's actually the, uh, he's raped the least amount of people in comedy. (laughs) (laughs) An actual vampire comedian. So he's an actual vampire. He's well, an actual vampire is the twist of the movie. I'll watch this if I find... If Jamie Kennedy wrote it, it'll be good. <laughs>
routine. It's not a routine. Oh my god, your generation is so weird! I mean, the coffin is eccentric, but it's plain. The glowing eyes, contacts. The teeth, it's an odd lifestyle choice, but hey, it's Vegas. But dude, you turned into a bat! Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, man. Delicious. Oh, wow. Dude, you're amazing. Oh, Carrot Top's in it, I forgot. I love Carrot Top. Where'd you find this kid? Only fangs. <laughs> I am loving this whole emo thing you have going on. Mm. We should just wrap this up. At least there's the an OnlyFangs right? joke. <laughs> Actually, that's, that's really good wordplay. <laughs> that's hysterical. <laughs> they got jokes. <laughs> Aren't you late for your job at the truck stop glory hole? Good evening, ladies. Step aside, Twilight. Don't do this. Oh, my God. So that, that was a, uh, it looks like there was a Muslim uh, Muslim cowboy that uh, was a heckler and then shot them outside yeah. of the show. This is a weird, like, parallel for, like, Matt Reif, like, stealing from black culture. Mm -hmm. Like, he's a vampire. Yeah, no, literally, like, he, he's like, vampiric. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he slips into DC Youngfly's room at night and just sucks. <laughs> sucks melanin out of his body <laughs> through his teeth. <laughs> yeah, Matt Reif really proves blood. to me there's no God. No. You know, he's selling out like 10 theaters a week now. He's killing it. He's like huge true? on TikTok yeah. now. And like a lot of black people for some reason like are being tricked into like liking him. It's what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then there's also a bunch of people uh, that hate him and shit. But we should be he's selling fine. out 10 theaters a week. We should. We should be, damn it. Mm -hmm. We should be, damn we, it. You yeah. tell me we're not as funny as this guy? Here's the thing. It's the payoff. It, this The payoff is fucking we can sleep at night. <laughs> 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 Just, I mean, right? I don't know. Unlike Matt Reif, who's a vampire. Well, this guy yeah. probably fucks so much, he falls asleep on a lady's big fake titties. He probably stays up on night because he thinks it makes him more black. <laughs> To be, to he's like, oh, it's all dark now. Maybe yeah, this is when I fully become. Yeah, he thinks Draculas are like Blade. He's like, this is how I become black. I'm a daywalker. Okay, I guess let's try to finish this. Yeah, sure, why not? It's kind of so bad you can't really <laughs> make fun crazy. of it. I know. Ethan Barr, my favorite vampire. Russell Peters wearing that I was funny in 1999 like hat. Emotionally dead inside. Have you met me? I'm a comedian. Do you want to touch it? <laughs> All right. Rick well, D'Elia wrote it. Yeah, I wanted to see who... Who's, wait, who's Chris D'Elia's brother? I don't know. It's the same spelling. Look up Rick D'Elia. I think that's Chris's brother. They do a podcast together about being brothers. So mm -hmm. Chris's brother wrote this, right? Uh, Look it up. I Look it up know. real quick. Let's, okay. let's end on All that. Right. Let's end on that. It's Chris's pimp. Yeah. Rick D'Elia. <laughs> Rick D'Elia. Works at a daycare. Mm-hmm. Rick Dilley. It's like a uh, comedy writer shot himself in his hotel room. Uh, no, it looks like a totally other guy. No, oh, different guy. Okay. This, But we got to see what he looks like. Yeah, that's about what I think. That looks suspected. like the guy that wrote that movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's him. Yeah. That's him. There you go. I think. But also you can look that up someone look on like, IMDb. It's that wrong. really does look like he's about to be murdered right before that photo was taken. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that is a... Uh, Lee Harvey Oswald picture right there. That's Bud mm -hmm. Dwyer looking at his IMDb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wrote Don't Suck. He also... he uh, Oh, he's, he's pretty much an... It looks like he's more of an actor and a producer. Huh. Did you ever see the movie where it was like Mindy Kaling and it's about late night? It's like a there's a ton of people in it and it had a lot of work put I into it. I remember this trailer, yeah. And she's like... A computer scientist that like just starts becoming a writer, well, wants to be a writer for late night, and uh, they let her in, and she becomes like the best writer ever. I it's a I terrible film. But... I spread my dreams Can we? Should we go to the Patreon before we start this one? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta take a massive shit. <laughs> She's in with the, <laughs> She's bag in with the... Of trash when I bought. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy legend Mindy Kaling hit in the face with a bag I like of garbage. Mindy How did she? So someone threw her. Her jokes that someone threw out at her face. Yes, mm -hmm. that's were, exactly there what that's There we go. Very good. Is. <laughs> and check out more of that on the Patreon. <laughs> Got it. Remember when her brother pretended to be a black guy? Yeah. To get mm -hmm. a, a, a loan for a boat or something? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. To get into medical school? Yeah. I, or something crazy? I love, I love people with master's degrees <laughs> in comedy. Same. Yeah, me too. Same. Uh, Patreon.com slash Lemon Party. Unless this is the Patreon, but this is probably the regular. We'll figure let's it out. Let's just say it is. Yeah, sure. Let's just say it let's is. Let's just say every episode. Like, let's just, like, mark it. Oh, night. little little Gracie. Look at Gracie. 
Mm. I miss her so much. She's in the other room right now. Emma's sleeping under the table. God, I look like shit here. Look at that big jacket. I look like I'm hiding like salami under my fucking jacket. No, <laughs> oh, no, you you look really bad. I look yeah. like utter shit. I look and most. I look like utter shit in most of the episodes. Mm-hmm. I look great though. You always look great. You look great, front and center. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I look. I look really hot. Yeah, I'd I'd fuck me. You're an attractive man. Not, not but I'm you no don't know Matt Rife. You're not Matt Rife. I mean, how I'm could no you? How could you be Matt Rife? No one's Matt Rife. I, I'm I'm a six and a half. I think. Well, I don't know. I, I think the world thinks of you differently than you think of yourself. That's why you're. That's why you're great. But. Well, thank you. If you had better posture and shit, you could you could have like really done way more mm-hmm. with your life. You're the you're the 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 girl in like uh, <laughs> you like the girl in the '90s comedy, you know. <laughs> Where they yeah, take yeah, the glasses and yeah. overall off of her, and they're like, yeah. "Oh, it's actually a, a famous actress." You're oh, re- so you're saying I'm Princess Diaries? Yeah, I was thinking of uh, she's all that or something like that. Sure, the I never Freddie saw Prince that. one. You really just kind of fucked yourself with irony, like you ruined your chance. You could have been like a A list actor and yeah. model and all that type of shit, but you really fucked yourself. But instead, I'm just wandering around through my uh, instead, through the trees, looking at. Uh, yeah. Uh, eight pound bird instead you're just trying to turn birds into mukbangers mm-hmm. yeah you've just <laughs> really gone off script here god's like i have no idea why did i give him why did i make him six yeah, foot yeah. five he's like i fucked up the program on yeah. this one i added a comma there I know. a zero and a one supposed to be yeah you here. are you're a code that's crashing but working and they're like i go i guess we leave it in i mean it gets the job done yeah there's no i didn't put a, a carburetor in the in the engine but it's just it's still working yeah. for some reason. it's just in taking air you're kind of like instagram when it's down <laughs> yeah you're like it's great website but fuck it just doesn't quite work today mm-hmm. i can only get like the last three posts yeah my stories aren't posting mm-hmm. but you're still instagram but I, but i'm but damn it i'm great this is i mean i'm saying you're, you know you're you've always been like a you know good height handsome but you just do everything on earth to fucking take away from that mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well more of this at we went really long, but Devin had a lot of tips and tricks, and he wanted to give those away for free because he's goes, forming folks. a union. Tell here. me how it goes, okay? I know there's a lot no, of you poor fucks out there. Video yourself stealing from these companies and then tag us in it. Yeah, tag me in the Whole Foods thefts. <laughs> really don't. It's great. <laughs> Is it even illegal to tell me go steal? Like, I don't think so because if they steal under a certain amount, the cops don't even do anything no, and no one investigates anything. It, it does you go to nothing. San Francisco, you get arrested for not stealing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you pull your card out, they're like freeze. Yeah, cops pull you over. They're like, let, let me see your pockets. Yeah. <laughs> Is this a platinum card? <laughs> you sick fuck. You make just me handing sick. it to a guy with devil horns, yeah, you, smoking crack. You make me sick. Yeah. <laughs> this is yours now, fucking Castro <laughs> racist. He just, he just like cuts the cop's throat with the platinum card. <laughs> Shame. He's like. You, another great citizen, <laughs> San Francisco. Uh, San Francisco changed real quick. It just changed my perspective of homeless people because I went there for the first time. And a homeless, <laughs> I was like, I love uh, taking care of homeless people and stuff. And then a homeless guy came up to me. It was an old black guy came up to me in wheelchair. He's like, he's like, can I have a cigarette? Can I have a cigarette? And I was like, yeah, sure, old black guy in a wheelchair. And I handed him the cigarette, and he like reached up, he took it, and then he like jerked <laughs> up. Once he got it, he stopped doing the act. He just. Snapped up at me and he goes, Lick my ass! <laughs> that's great. Yeah, he no, that really, actually rules. That's great. That was Draymond Green. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a, it's yeah. a, it's a, it's a bit of an issue that I think the safest neighborhood in San Francisco is Alcatraz. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, Very good. Very good. Very All right, good. it's a public. It's a public. <laughs> it's a public then. Put it on. Uh, wow, we talked about so much. The guy who, the gay guy, dumbass. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wrap it up. Th- we talked. A I got we a, I talked. Got sh- and Jace has to. Pick. I got a shit coming out of me right now. He's Prairie Dog. Live stream. The live streams every Wednesday at four p.m. Yeah, yeah, Pacific yeah. Standard Time. Yeah, so yeah, make sure yeah. you go subscribe to Limit Party Clips channel. Devin Hate Watch Pod. Jace Sad yep. Drawings by Jace. That's been the episode, folks. I'm gay. Have a great night. Thank you.